Wow. Wow. That is weird. As soon as that finished, my bin liners fell. Wow. <laughs> What's a bin liner? Lining your bins? Yeah, you, you put a bin liner in a bin. So you're not just throwing garbage straight into uh, a bin. Oh, I, oh, a bin liner. Oh, gar oh, oh a, bin yeah, gar bag, bin we liner. call them garbage bags here in the okay, United States. Okay, garbage bag. There you go. Well, I, I thought you like put them in your plastic bins to like bin liners to protect your toys when you want to store them for moisture. <laughs> I mean, I, that's that's where my mind's at on this show. <laughs> well, we we well, my mum used to. She well, she used to put toys in in bin liners and then put them in uh, containers. Well, there, so if, that, I, if I was to like open up those containers, there, they'd, they'd be like twenty-year-old white ripped to pieces bin liner where wow. everything's been put in. Yeah. Hey, I have exciting news that mm. I can announce. Here's, yeah. the, here's, as you know, we we've talked about him on this show. Yes. One of my favorite YouTube channels is, of course, Justin's collection. Hate him. And we've mentioned why well, I, I both love and hate him because when I look at his collection yeah. videos, I'm green with envy. I've never I been need, envious need, of anybody else <laughs> in my life, you know. And you uh, now, where's the next video, please? <laughs> yeah, I know. That's I, I, I just did you see his Negasonic Teenage Warhead uh, video review? Yeah. That just you know, he told me he was going to do it. So uh, he had left a message on uh, my YouTube, uh, the comments section, and uh, I reached out to him. And he totally said he would come on. So you and I and Justin together next week on the 30th of December, we're going to have a Hot Toys conflagration uh, that should be the most epic Hot Toys conversation or, or six-scale toy conversation mm. ever. And if you think about it, he's in Australia. He's in Melbourne. Yeah. You're in you're in your what would you what would you call your your neighborhood that you live in? What do you call that? In it's like we have suburbia, but what do you have in the UK? Uh, the United States of Europa Shire. The United States of Europa Shire. I love that. So he's in Melbourne. You're in the United States of Europa Shire, and I'm here in Passad. No, dude, uh, <laughs> California, man. So we're going to have literally a global confab, yeah, about hot boys and action figures. Because I, you know, I watch Justin's channel the way other men probably watch Pornhub. Oh yeah. I get you know, like you said last week. I kind of get the same dopamine hit that I get from, yeah, other things. <laughs> That's true. It is true. So I mean, I'm really, yeah, I, I'm, I, get a, I get a look at it every day. I'm, you know, you go to your recommended, and it's like, is there a new, is there a new thing that I can hate Justin about? <laughs> <laughs> well, he he said something really interesting to me. He he we 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 went back and forth for about an hour and a half. And uh, he said that that he found us refreshing because of our positivity. And I'm oh. like, I'm like, I guess, you know, you know that I understand the idea of fanatical collectors because we've talked about when things aren't accurate or something, sure. we get angry. Yeah. But I don't understand, you know, how do you get like hot toys are not perfect all the time. Sometimes you get a Paul Rudd head sculpt that is less than perfect, perhaps. But uh, that doesn't mean that you can't be enthusiastic about the figure once you put the helmet on without the Paul Rudd head sculpt. True. I would True. then offer, I would say there, Michael B. Jordan head sculpt on the Killmonger figure is quite awesome. And I wasn't going to buy Killmonger until they put my boy, Michael B. Jordan, who I love. If I could look like any man in the world, it would either be Mike Coulter or Michael B. Jordan. Uh, and so Cary I, Grant. Oh, that would Cary Grant. Yeah, but he's old school. I know. You know I'm, I'm just I, thinking. I'm an old school kind of a guy when it comes to sh well, for me, it would be first season Shatner. Oh, he was pretty. <laughs> but Cash and Carrie got the women and their money. Yes, that's what they used to call him, Cash and Carrie. Cash and Carrie. Because I love Cary Grant. I love Cary Grant. I love North by Northwest. I was thinking about we need to do a video about North by Northwest and uh, Thirty Nine Steps. And yes, stuff. the lady vanishes. So good, great lifeboat, film. vertigo, Rebecca. Oh, all oh, those things. Rear window, my favorite. Grace Kelly in Rear Window remains. If I could marry a character, a fictional character of out of you know, the entirety of all human history's fiction, aside wow. from a, uh, maybe a Greek goddess, yeah, it would be Grace Kelly's character in Rear Window. 
Wow. Uh, I'm trying to have a think. That's because that is a bloody good question. Who yeah. would you? The other person would be Catherine Trammell, uh, Sharon Stone from Basic Instinct. But, you know, that might really be a little ice lethal. Pick. Yeah, yeah. She's but it'd be bit, fun, though. She's a bit ice picky with who she sleeps with. She is, but she rocks her world. Ah. <clears throat> I would say more Total Recall Sharon Stone. Yeah, but she doesn't know as much, and she's too angry. Sharon Stone, she's ice, in, in uh, Basic Instinct, she's ice cold. She gets the job done. God, this is a, a conversation we should have another time. Well, you know, I do have a quarter-scale statue made by Blitzway of Sharon Stone in Basic Instinct right over there. Ooh. Why isn't it on your desk? Uh, well, because it's too big. Oh, and, you know, it's, it's okay. the scene when she's being interrogated and her legs are being crossed. It's kind of distracting. Okay. And why I needed a quarter scale statue of that, I don't know. But I do have her standing or sitting. <laughs> she comes with a chair. And she, she is sitting right next to my quarter scale Blitzway Vito Corleone statue. Well, we can't do what we do and use the term... Uh, I don't need, or why do I have? We can't use, because that destroys everything. Okay, you know what? Let me tell you. I was just trying to be, like, I was trying to not, not when I saw that statue, I was like, oh, my God, click. I was <laughs> yeah. trying to be less lascivious. I, I, I'm like, wow, Rob Burnett has a statue of the interrogation scene from Basic Instinct in his Rob Observatory. I didn't want people to get the wrong idea, but they should have the wrong idea, because you're absolutely right. This mm. show, if nothing else, is about total honesty mm. or as the Vulcan master said in Star Trek the motion picture so so logica that's total logic wow. which is the or same as total Mikey honesty. Burnham said in Star Trek Discovery worship me <laughs> oh well Ma Mikey would you like to hear some absolute candor for me I've got some absolute candor for you <laughs> I would love two minutes of candor with Mikey Burnham <laughs> I'd make them. They'll be leaving that conversation in crying. I promise you that for nothing. Did you watch the fourth episode of The Expanse? No, I'm I'm on two and a half seasons in. So, oh. yeah, I'm not. I'm oh. not in. I'm not up to you. Well, let me tell you, it's pants wetting. The same I way. Heard, perhaps, I it's brilliant. This Luke, the same way that Luke Skywalker shows up at the end of the last episode of the, the uh, Mandalorian. It was it was pretty pants wetting. If Luke you know turned up at the end of the Mandalorian season two. No, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding about that. Why would he? How could he? The time period's not right. They'd have to like deep fake his face or something. <laughs> oh, that was that was. Uh... God, I, I cried. Dude, I, I, I did cried. too. I totally wept. I totally uh, wept. Was, you, know, was... you know what? It was the buildup. It was like getting some, a girl who's really experienced, you know, and she she brings you. She it, it was like edge edging. I was being edged I'm... all the way up that when that when that X-wing fighter landed, I'm like, okay, are we going there? And then what, the hooded figure comes it? out. It was and then my friend. My friend came back. My I know, and but my friend came back at the height of his powers. Yes, you know after he'd been summoned by Grogu. Oh. Like who's Grogu talking to? Well, now we know. Uh yeah. Well, it's more like sense. Yeah, yeah, sensing. He can sense. He sensed the. Well, void. no, that big blast of energy at the temple. You know, the giant energy. Yeah, yeah. He's sending out. He's, you know. Yeah, he was like making a. Mm -hmm. It was a FaceTime call, but over uh, uh, many, many light years. Did he many say, parsecs. Wow, Luke, what beautiful abs you have! <laughs> <laughs> All the better to have the worst relationship in the history of cinema with my dear. <laughs> I'm going to die, and then you're going to, sorry, you're going to die, and then I'm going to force life you, and then I'm going to die, and then you're just going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the way things go. You're a bitch. <laughs> Might as well learn earlier than later. Women, huh? <laughs> I just put this comment up because somebody said, uh, as have you seen the new near Automata statue? Uh, it's a three piece which comes together and it's yes i i can't order it and i tell you why not because of any other reason then i haven't got room i know i have no room anymore i have <clears throat> today three uh, statues 
<laughs> yeah, I, you said you got a, a, I, I have to say that that um, I am I am a, what would you call it dimensionally challenged where I live, meaning yeah. I don't have enough dimensions to put everything that I I own, and I want to dedicate this show to oversized pieces. <laughs> I got a few oversized, actually not everything, but I have an environment to show, and I have figures uh, that are oversized. Mm. I've got like there's boxes and boxes. When those boxes from them my bedroom go up to the attic that is actually gonna free up some space yeah which i am concerned about <laughs> because it's then hmm, what should i do with this space that i can actually walk nice and unhindered through oh in order to get back here like to get back where i'm sitting right now i can't get out because of what i brought in to show i i have to like i don't know what i'm gonna do but oh, um, I'm boxed in because I have something down here. Yeah, I, I my, 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 right I, now. Yeah, stacked. Yeah, so it's that's amazing. Gonna be, that's going to be fun. <laughs> well, so who's going to show? Are you going to show me yours first, or are we going to trade off? Well, or? I, I think I think you you can start because I got a theme. I got a theme this ah. week. That's why well, I just going to go. I think the the first thing uh, I wanted to bring in some two quarter scale figures to show from a franchise that we all know and love, and that would be the Terminator franchise. Now oh. the, these are quarter scale figures, which means they're not six scale; they're quarter scale. So that means they're <coughs> they're uh, twenty five inches, right? Twenty four inches. Ladies. So I know, right? So the first thing I'm going to show is Robert Patrick. As the T one thousand, nice. We just and, saw uh, him in Die Hard two. Uh, Die Hard two, yes. <laughs> um, and he comes with different hands. I just put this one on here because it. I mean, this isn't much of an action feature, but I do like the fact that he can stick his hand out. But what's really cool about this figure is, so you can put, let's see if bullet hits. On him, and they're and they're they're magnet they're magnetized, you know, and um, nice. you can arrange them. And I I kind of like this. I kind of like that. Uh, let's see where you got to find where they where the magnets are. But uh, again, I'm a uh, quarter scale figures are not nearly as posable as uh, six scale figures yeah. are. But and I got this. This figure is actually made by a company called. This is an Enter Bay figure. Okay. Uh, and uh, I believe, yeah, I believe it's Enter Bay. Now they mostly manufacture sports figures now, and I think I've had this. I probably got this like ten years ago, and I think yeah. for ten years ago the face sculpt is still pretty good. Yeah. I mean, obviously, yeah. I think it's it's it, and it definitely. If you put his head down like this, he kind of. I mean, uh, he looks. He's got that formidable look, like when he's walking yes. at you. Yeah, he's looking so, those eyes down. Yeah, and. uh you know, I think the likeness is pretty great. That and likeness uh, is brilliant. Yeah, I really their scope. That is crazy. Yeah. And these Enterbay figures, I mean, Enterbay was a really weird company because they had various strange licenses. Yeah. And then it comes with uh it comes with a pretty cool base. Here's the base. He's kind of like that industrial oh, base. Right. Okay. With, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And what you do is you clamp the the thing around his leg so he kind of right. stands, okay. stands like this. It looks like he's got polio. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you stand him on the shelf, you know, he looks he looks pretty good. So, I mean, I, you know, I'm not the biggest uh quarter scale guy, mm. but some of the like we talked about the the um the the quarter scale Iron Man figures that Hot Toys make are amazing. And I have another I'll I'll wait. Well, I guess we'll trade off or something. You want to trade off, but um um I have another quarter scale Terminator figure that Hot Toys makes, but mm. I, I I I have I like the Star Wars Hot Toys figures. I mean the quarter scale figures, and you know the thing about the quarter scale figures is I don't feel the need to get all of them. I just like to get some of them, like the the cool pieces, because they're great to put on top of shelves. Like if you've got a glass uh, glass cases, the quarter scale sure. figures are great to have on top to sort of offset. But I have another one of my favorite. I, I have to bring it down uh, from upstairs. Uh, the whole the attic. I have a quarter scale figure of the first common rider, which I talked about before. This Japanese superhero that Enter Bay also made. It never came to America because nobody knows the first common rider. But he looks like a giant green leather clad grasshopper. 
Right. He's one of the, you know, one of the first of those characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I, I, I do love my. I've got quarter scale Darth Vader that I've never even opened. So, I mean, it's like you got to have a place to put them before you open them. I guess. <laughs> Yeah. I, 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 you know the the euphemisms. I, I they fly fast and furious on this show. What can we do about that? Um, but you know, I again, I, in my front room, I got no fucking idea what to do. <laughs> Robin's gonna come here, and Robin's gonna join the back crew. Uh, Siri is going to stay downstairs, so I'm going to have serious intro with Tris, and I'm going to take Geralt downstairs. Oh, okay. And then Mark, I really want somewhere special for Mark. I want Mark in my bedroom. Yeah. Is that where you are now? Or is this your studio? No, this is my office. This is my office. So. Okay. And my bedroom's like that room over there. So I, I want Mark for my to put into there, and I'd love it if they did Princess as well. That Princess and Mark. Well, you'd, yeah, and, and that would be a great, especially with that the outfit would be great. Like I've got the old yeah. Medicom. Medicom did those figures. Oh. They did twelve inch. Oh, a cramp plants. for sure. <laughs> a bit. How can you crimp up your jaw? That was crazy. I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> well, you're we're we're causing we're causing a lot of mirth on this show, so it's yeah, okay. Too much, uh, too much of the yakking. Uh, so as ever, folks, just to let you know, so we're not not being rude. Uh, we're going to go through some show and tell, some conversation, and then I'll uh, go through the super chats. Um, so if you got you, you know, if you got questions, you don't mind waiting for a little bit. Brillarilla, uh, we're, you're just going to do the standard format. So thank you for your patience with that. It's just so we can get some flow going, and then we can get some dialogue going. Um, so uh, yeah, I decided to go with a theme because I have broken away from um just hot toys this week in actual fact i'm not showing a single hot toy i'm showing a what i'm showing what toys yeah what cool. toys hence the change of the name so i don't get sued wait a minute i just want to say that that somebody mm. in the chat darth is it scipio or scipio says robert my Burnett, why do you take your toys out of the box they lose 50 percent of their value I would say that taking toys out of their box, I gain a hundred percent value being able to touch them and play with them. Uh, mm. I, it, I I plan on dying before I give up my toys. So yeah. what people do in the wake of my untimely passing is their problem. Yeah. But I don't I don't buy I'm not buying toys to invest. I'm buying toys no. to open them up and uh, you know jizz all over them pretty much. You know as one does. I buy my uh, toys yeah. to play with them. <laughs> Like I've got figures which are in their plastic, you know, the the uh, 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 you know mint on board or whatever you want to say, mint on card, whatever you want to say, and and they're going to stay like that, you know, yeah, yeah. which are going to stay in box. But hot toys, hot toys don't lose their value. No. If anything, regardless of whether you you open them or not, hot toys, if anything, increase in value. Full stop. Yeah, and I, uh, I keep the boxes so you can pack yeah. them up. But there's some things like I don't know if you got the Guardians of the Galaxy Stan Lee. In the astronaut suit, I've seen him. I'm not going to well, get it, but I've seen him. He he comes in a giant like if it's an eight inch figure, he comes in a giant blister pack. Right. You know? Oh yes, 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 it, yes, it's, yes. So it's, it's hanging on my wall over there. I have not opened that as much as I want to open that figure. I love how cheeky they were by putting it in that giant blister pack. And once you open it up, there's, there's staples that hold it together. If you open it up, then that. But I do at some point I because I do want Stanley doing the thinker pose because he comes with a he comes with a moon rock chair where he's yeah, sitting and yeah. i want him to do that so one day i'll open that but i don't know i just want to i want to stan lee stanley yeah well they make a, there's a couple hot toys makes one you know i really want to get that the the thor ragnarok stan lee that's coming out where he's like the barber and he looks more like him but he's more he's in a kirby yeah, the yeah. kirby outfit i mean i'm like i gotta get me that but then again, I've already got a Stanley. I'm like, how many Stanleys does one need? Oh, uh, as many as you can fit. <laughs> I guess that's a silly question to ask on this show. Yeah. <laughs> you see, Robert, there's another thing that you can't say in this line of work, and that's how many do I need? It's <laughs> another one you can't ask because the answer is as many as we can. We, we, let's just be honest, Robert. 
we would get in enough of stuff like this, enough crap that we can't move. We would literally <laughs> just have to live our lives sat <laughs> in our seats and have people winch the roof off to to put down food. So we well, when Amazon delivers by drone, we're yeah. gonna be all good. You oh. just hold your hand out the window. You can yeah. board your. <laughs> bring it in, bring it in, boys. Bring it in, boys. Thank you. We'll see you. Thanks. Facial recognition. You're getting fatter. I know. I can't move. I'm stuck. <laughs> you see this stuff that you deliver, right? So I'm going to first of all go old school, mm. old school, old school. Um, because my theme for this week is Transformers. Ooh. So uh, my old school, old school is uh, we're going to start off with uh, an OG uh, sound wave. Wow. Now, who is, now, which is that the actual OG sound wave or is that a, <laughs> is that a remake? Wow. Uh, this is a this is a, um, a sound wave. <laughs> But this, this, there's something special about this sound wave, uh, and that is, uh, it was absolutely free. Uh, because I bought this, and is that a free it, toy. Yeah, it never turned up, and it never turned up, and it never turned up, and so I, I chased, and I said, please wait longer for I to arrive. I was like, it's been three months, and and it's been shipped for three months. Where is it? Uh, please wait. No, no, no. So I contacted uh, eBay or somebody. This uh, this is not me. <laughs> someone, someone I know. Then they gave it to me. They're dead. They're dead now. So don't bother looking into them. <laughs> and um, and that person said to me, "This is their story." Uh, that they then got in contact with eBay and they said, "Look, it's been shipped for like three months. It hasn't arrived." And eBay uh, contacted them and said they can't provide any legit shipping information, even though it was showing as a tracked item. And so we have refunded you your money. And then uh, unbelievably the same day. <laughs> <laughs> unbelievably the same day it turned it up. Wow. Uh, but I wanted to start off with this one because uh, my theme is going to go uh, very interesting. Uh, so this is your your standard kind of stuff, and and this is uh, this is a very articulate. Uh, I mean, this is. I'm glad I didn't because the legs are shite. You know, yeah. they are they are absolute garbage. So this is a this is a terror. I wouldn't use this company again to save my life. Can it stand up though? It could well no it will fall over. It keeps wibbling up, and so it topples over. So I actually have to prop it up against something for it to stand up. Um, so it might, it might just have to go back into gun form. But this, this uh, in its day was very articulated in as much as you could actually bend the knees. Yeah, I mean it's got ratchets. That ratchet yeah. joints are the. You know something's high hardcore if it's got ratchet joints, yeah. dude. Come on. And then you, yeah, you got you know swivel joint and ratchet joint yeah. for those days. Um, the head, you know, Bobby head. So this yeah. was in its day a very sort of articulated uh, transformer. Mm. So with that in mind, when it's my turn next, we're going to go to to somewhere pretty funky. <laughs> but we'll leave that till my my next turn. Well, I guess I'm up. Uh, I, I I'll give you a preview. What I've got next here is this. This is, of course, the weapon of choice. Uh, this is also a quarter scale weapon. And if you people probably people probably already know, let me let me let me do a reveal. Now, this is a uh, did I say sound wave shockwave? Sorry, give me shockwave. It's uh, this is a little um, dusty. Uh, I haven't finished swiffing it, <laughs> but this is a hot toys quarter scale endo skeleton wow and now these figures this this does have a light up feature which i don't uh i mean you look at this stuff these this hot toys figures i, I actually have to put back on the, mm -hmm. if you can see i mean the it it is 
the engineering in this is unbelievable. Yeah. The fingers, the fingers all move and um it's it's pretty incredible so you can make, you know, you can have it hold the gun. But the fact that they're all articulated um is amazing. And I just the engineering in this figure is unbelievable. And of course, I had this uh I had this figure next to the T1000. And the one thing I I did don't have because it's packed away is the battle damaged uh t800 <clears throat> right yeah yeah but this is a uh, this is great and it comes with i i pulled it off the the stand but it comes with this great uh base that it stands upon with human skulls <laughs> so oh cool. uh, yeah so this is again this is a quarter scale figure they they make six scale endoskeletons but as far as a quarter scale figure goes this just looks so formidable uh on the shelf that I just had to, you know, I had to, and it, again, the legs, everything about this figure, the engineering is just astonishing. Oh, it looks amazing. It, it, amazing. And, you know, if you like, now, again, this is a Hot Toys endoskeleton. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's, this again is old. This, this is years old. So you can only get it on the secondary market. And I'm sure the price is not pretty. Yeah. But, um, um but again, I think one of the things about these figures, you know, the guy, one of the guys who started Hot Toys, Tom, used to work at a store here in L.A. like in the 90s called Kitcraft. Right. And he was a master figure painter. He would buy a lot of garage kits. And I used to go to Kitcraft just to see what he had um, painted because oh. his, his, his figures were unbelievable. Yeah. And then he was one of the founders of Sideshow Toys. And they, did I say Hot Toys? It was Sideshow. I meant to say Sideshow if I said Hot Toys. It's Sideshow Toys. And, um, you know, you would go. And one of the things about these, I mean, even though they were just inanimate, you know, you couldn't, they weren't articulated. When he had painted them as well as he'd painted them, especially when you saw <clears throat> multiple characters up on the wall, it was really impressive. You know, yeah. and, and I think that was, that was sort of the beginning because six scale action figures were never very realistic you know even like i collected six scale i never collected like the dragon military figures which are pretty damn good mm -hmm. i never got into military figures but i did collect like six scale kenner and then later hasbro star wars figures which were that's what got me back in, in the late 90s to even collecting figures again was getting those 12 inch star wars figures but they were never the face sculpts were never that great and yeah. and then when tom when they founded Ha, uh, sideshow one of the first things they did was the universal monsters which were a staple of those old garage kits so yeah. whenever you'd see anybody you'd see frankenstein and dracula and the wolfman which goes all the way back to aurora model kits from like the 60s and 70s and that's where once they started making those in the early aughts i was all in with the figures because you know when you have something like this and you pose it correctly up on the wall it, it just reminds you of like I, I one day I'm going to create something that's as iconic as this, and this design, the idea that it's it's uh, it it goes all the way back to Ray Harryhausen. Uh, he, he's he's the fighting skeletons from Jason and the Argonauts. He's just a he's just a mechanical version of it. And you know this, I love terrifying. these figures so much, and absolutely terrifying. Yeah, it's it's great. And I think that, you know, again, why, w what makes me want to buy a quarter scale figure? It's always the subject that like, I wouldn't want to collect any, any figure. Like I don't, I, I, they'd have to be specific. I'd love to get like the hot toys, Iron Man quarter scale figures, but even I, they're just like, if you get six scale figures, they're already $400 for the armor, the die cast, those, those quarter scale figures are like, you have your Batman. They're beautiful, beautiful, but man. They set you back, and if you're if you're paying off paying figures off on time, which I think we both do, you know, it's, sometimes it takes us like a year <laughs> to get our figures, if, depending yeah. on where you're yeah. paying them off, and and so when you finally get it, it it's meaningful. Mm. I mean, uh, that Mark statue that's downstairs now. Uh, I was getting an email for months, and the Siri, which I've just put the pull the trigger and say, hey, Siri's coming in, going to take uh, take the money off you. Uh, yeah, I've literally been receiving an email pretty much every month saying it's been pushed back, it's been pushed back, it's been pushed back. 
Because if you're on a payment plan, you you don't pay the final installment until it comes in. <clears throat> right. So you have to get an email. They have to inform you to say, we take the final payment when the item is coming in. It's not coming in this month. It's not coming in this month. So these have been, and then suddenly well, it's like a bus. Uh, you know, you haven't got anything for months, and then three just turn up at once. Yeah. No, it's like, well, well, like for here in the U.S., if you want to buy a Hot Toys figure or something, they're coming in on boats. So, mm -hmm. you know, you see, like, in Hong Kong, they might release three or four figures, and then they'll put them all together on the shipment to the United States. So you get them four months later, but they all show up in, like, the same. Yes. And, and that's depressing. Because then you're yeah. like, well, I don't, I don't eat this week. <laughs> kind of is. It kind of isn't. Yeah, well, yes, that's true. <laughs> like, I want to eat, but. Just go on the field, munch on some grass. That'll do. Probably got some, you know, terrible, terrible disease now. It's all right. It's fine. Um. Okay. I'm going to start with, I think I'm going to have to start with you, sir. Because the reason why I wanted to show the Transformers was uh, Transformers were my favorite cartoons. We discussed the fact that, you know, that one day when I was a kid, I think it was my birthday, uh, my mom said, you can have one Transformer up to £10. Right. And, and, and I, that's not weight. Yeah, that's yeah. That's not weight. <laughs> and it was just like this wall of Transformers, and you're just like, ah! <laughs> uh, so you, you literally were a kid in a toy shop uh, at that time. And I ended up, uh, because they didn't have Jazz, I ended up getting Sideswipe because it was the Lamborghini Countach, and... Uh, that was my favorite car at the time, that and the Lancia right. Stardust and stuff. Um, so I, I liked, the, A, the look of the Lamborghini, and B, um, because they were like, you know, these, you had the proper cars. You know, had Porsches, you had Lamborghinis. And, yeah. Uh, and it just it looked like it transformed pretty coolly as well. So Sideswipe became the first Transformer. But these were very um, bulky, uh, non-articulated Transformers. They pretty much stood there and... Maybe their arms would turn up and you would literally just kind of have a pew, 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 pew. <laughs> that is how you played. That is how you played with the Transformers. And then you go. <laughs> and you keep doing that noise. Until well, that's the... pretty good. The Transformers sound, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, well, that's years as a kid doing it. You know, when you're trying to transform. <laughs> um, and so... I always wanted a Transformer that was authentic to to the cartoon, but I wanted it to look vehicle-wise like they did in the cartoons, but I also was a very greedy boy, and I wanted the them to look like their figures when they transformed. But I didn't want them to look like Michael Bay's figures. I wanted them to look like the cartoon's figures that was very... <laughs> When they transformed, it was very much where did everything go? Shh, don't ask questions. Right. Type of business. <laughs> so, up until recently, I had been looking at stuff, you know, a few things. As one does. As one does. Yeah. As one does. And over the years, I'd had a look at the Transformers Masterpiece collections, you know. Very expensive stuff, but they looked they looked good. They looked much, much better. But, you know, there's just something... Sometimes there's just something not quite. Uh-oh. And so there was a, another company. Another company called Fans Toys. Mm. Who decided to do a, a range of Transformer toys um, that weren't called Optimus Prime, and they weren't called... Uh, Megatron, they were called completely different names. However, they seem to look very similar <laughs> to, to what they were, vehicle-wise, transformer-wise. And I'm going to start off because I had a group of transformers that I loved. And when you see the first one, you'll probably be able to start guessing who the second and third ones are going to be. But I had a group of Transformers that I really loved as a kid, and, and that was because there was a a real um, kind of dichotomy amongst them. They were so different uh, personality-wise. And 
the very first Target Master Transformer that I got was Blur, the futuristic car from Transformers the movie. Okay. And but it was a very stiff transformer. You had to take off the bottom faceplate. It acted as a shield. And it looked nothing like the cartoon version of Blur that I loved. But Fans Toys created something that was not only very authentic, but the articulation is obscene. That you can put them in the most crazy poses you can wow. think of. And this I've that, got that's Blur. a great pose, too. Yeah, he's kneeling down with his sniper rifle. So you're telling me that this is a third-party figure. This is a third-party unlicensed figure called Jasper. <laughs> or Jasper. Uh, it's called Jasper, I think it is, actually. And this is uh, Blur. This is essentially Blur from Transformers by a company called Fans Toys. Now, is that out of Japan? Where, where, Where's yeah, Fans? Out of Japan. <clears throat> And they have uh, a humongous, yes, I just sexually harassed you, a humongous range of pretty much any Transformer you can think of. Wow. And what I've done is I bought a, let's just lift this for now. Uh, I bought a sticker pack. And <laughs> if I just move this arm here. Oh. I have the Autobot insignia. <laughs> How do you do that sound? What's this? <laughs> I got to work on my Transformers sounds. <laughs> so I actually painstakingly wanted the right size. I wanted the right look uh, of, of sticker for, for this. I wanted wow. to make sure it was placed perfectly. Uh, and yeah, this is so, you know, you can, I can just. The wow, listen to those ratchet joints. Wow, look at the articulation on the yeah, leg, dude. The legs, like they can go. Wow. Their feet are very, you have the back grip, so uh, you have the back foot, so their feet can really articulate as well. So you That's really great. Ratchet joints. Uh, and so, yeah, this is Blur to start off with. And uh, Blur was my, my fave. The fast talking speedster with a really cool uh, head go faster uh, stripe, as I like to, to say it was. Uh, now, it, did they, before. did other companies not make as good of a jazz or? or... No, I mean, uh, this is uh, a blur. Uh, they just, it was a just blur, just, pardon me. Toy, oh, bollocks, I dropped the gun. Uh, fans' toys just seem to have it perfect. They right. They just need to know exactly what you wanted. How the character looks. I mean, if you they pay very careful attention to everything that's like the way that things are positioned, like the head, the head spoiler here. Yeah. When I transform this, that becomes the head spoiler. Oh, I mean, it puts it into proportion. Right. So instead of having to, to cheese it and take it out of proportion. They can have something a little bit different on the back, but make everything as, as okay. compact as possible. That's pretty dope, dude. Yeah, that's really and cool. Okay. As the, as the head one to make it look as if that's where the head would be. Mm. And so that, that is my uh, first one. I'm just going to turn the camera off uh, while I retrieve the gun. If you want to go into your, your next one. Okay. Well, my next, so, Many people who've been watching my show uh, on my own channel have noticed, and last week they noticed that I had the Hot Toys Hulkbuster. <laughs> the Hot Toys Hulkbuster from Avengers Age of Ultron. Not the Infinity War Hulkbuster, which I don't like as much. I don't like the design. Also, it's rotocast. The figure is rotocast, which means it's basically a big, it's just a big hollow plastic thing. Well, I'll tell you the sad story. So I was working on this, this film called Axonar. And uh, during that time, uh, I was supposed to be getting paid to work on it, but it all went to hell for various reasons. So I had had the original version of the Age of Ultron Hulkbuster from Hot Toys on order. And I'd been prepaying it. But uh, if you can't, you lose your deposit. I mean, they refund what money you've had, but you lose your deposit. And I, I never got the Hulkbuster. It sold out. It was gone. 
no Hulk buster for the Bobster. So anyway, uh, about a year ago, I want to say it was a year ago. Was it a year ago? They uh, were, yes, just they, yeah. They re-released the Hulk Buster, but this time it came because when they re-release something, Hot Toys always wants to make it better. Now, this Hulk Buster is like the ultimate. It's a six scale Hulk Buster, which means a six scale Iron Man figure has to fit inside of it, or at least mm -hmm. in this case, they have an Iron Man bust. But what they added was they added the arm. That it was now it's the Hulk Buster Deluxe, and it comes with the added like pummeling fighting arm. So that was what they added to it. So I've never opened my Hulk Buster. It took a long time to pay it off. I kept, you know, Hot Toys lets you or uh, Sideshow lets you when you're getting it from Sideshow, like, I can't pay this month, so you can advance, <laughs> you know, so you can keep they only let you do it so many times, but you know, I probably paid it off over a year or something. Um, oh, there you go. Back in so I'm gonna do this in phases. Because this this is ridiculous, but so but it's great if they're on pre-order. Like when they put out a new a new hot toy for pre-order, it's great if you just pay in installments because right. it's going to come for several months. If you pay in installments, you see less money go. Yeah, um, and so yeah, oh, yeah, it's a great way to to pick up a hot toy. If you think I can't afford a hot toy. It's a great way if you're paying installments. Yeah, it's like going to the grocery store. You buy like twenty dollars less groceries. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> so this this is just the uh, I took the wrap around the box, the big box, and it has two styrofoam containers in it. This is the first of these styrofoam containers, and as you can see, see if I can can you see that on the how it yeah. says okay, Hulk it's, it's Hulk Deluxe. Hulk Buster yeah. Deluxe. So this is just for the deluxe portion of it all. I've never opened this. This is the first time I think we, ever. We need to give you a full. This full. is a true, a true unboxing. So I'm going to take full this. Going to take this off. This styrofoam piece off. We'll put it over here. So, uh, uh, this is the arm. Wow, this is just the arm. Uh oh, the the interior pieces uh, got stuck in that box. So this is the deluxe arm. Wow. Now I, it's hard to explain just how amazing Hot Toys figures are. But if you look at this, as it's caught, the way it's caught in here. So this is just the deluxe arm for the Hot Toy. Now you can see it comes to protect the paint. It comes with a lot of um, styrofoam inserts to protect it. And then each articulated, uh, I mean, this is, you can see the engineering on this is insane. The knuckles and the hand all move. And uh, here's where you, now I'm not going to be able to put this whole thing together, but here's where the arm fits, where it snaps on. But as a six scale figure goes, so here's my hand. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> here, here's the hand of the Hulkbuster. Jeez. So this That's is like a, a, a 12 year old kid. Yeah. I, I mean, I can't even begin to tell you how awesome the engineering is on the. I mean, if you look at it, 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 it is, there's so many moving parts in here. And so many, well, there's, there's, there's all kind. there's even still styrofoam. In it. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's really incredible. And so unfortunately I am not going to be able to put this all together because it's in, wow, there's so much, they, but you can see the paint ops, how great the detailing is. And this is why people love hot toys figures. Yes. It's hard. It's hard to see. But they've added, like, if you can see, like, wait, right in, can't even get there. So right here, um, how they've added weathering, yes, you know, and denting on the uh, the metal, so it has a used look to it. Now, what's really cool is, now that's not all. As in the same box, they oh, have. I'm, I'm baited breath here, dude. They have this section. Oh, which which is the is the is we open this up here. It's the uh, 
face pummeling yeah. section. <laughs> so him. now I've got to figure out like how. Uh, yeah, I think you should. Yeah, can you smell it, please? This oh, dude, I can't even tell you how good this smells. Uh -huh. This smells the the smell like that. You know, it's oh. Uh, Oh God! It's between the styrofoam and the plastic, but so this is the part that goes bang, 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 yeah, bang. Yeah, yeah. So you can choose to have uh, the hand, or you can add this to it. Now, I, I, I have to read the instructions. I, I, I truly am unboxing this for the first time. But now this is just the deluxe portion of the figure. This is yeah. just what came new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, I mean, if you look at this. Uh, again, it's just, it's so the weathering, uh, down in here and, and how they, you can kind of see how they, they add the, oh, yeah. the, the battle damage in here. I mean, this is just, uh, again, so exquisite. And it's one of the reasons why, I mean, exquisite as far as action figures go, oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's some people who are it, watching it, this going, it smells exquisite. Full it, oh, it's, it's just, I can't, I mean, even this, you stick your. I mean, it's like fine wine. I think yeah. action figures can be judged by the chemical smell that they come with. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, maybe you, maybe this, instead of the sommelier of cinema, I should be the sommelier of action figures, you know? <laughs> oh, God, does this... Oh, it's, another, it's just another arrow in your quiver, dude. It's just another uh, yeah, I know. And, I, you know, it, it, the I can't show... I, I, I dropped it. I can't move over and see where it fell out, but it also comes in this where all the batteries and stuff, because there's all kinds of batteries that fit. I don't think there's any batteries in this section, but it fits into the, it all lights up. All these Iron Man figures, they come with watch batteries. And some of these figures, you have to put like 10 batteries in them. <laughs> so I've been waiting for this for almost five years now. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, now I have it. And this is the very first time on this show that I've actually opened it up. And I have to tell you, um, uh, I look at this and it gives me a Woody. I'm just gonna say right now. Um, I hope nobody holds that against me, and they understand as a collector when you hold something like this up and it's just an arm. Think mm. about how big the figure's got to be, and well, I don't even know. The, that's the kind of baby's arm boast, you know. Yes, it is. Of course, it's not the kind of baby's arm boast that a girl wants to hear. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, she, she, she wants a different type of baby's arm boast, mm, but as a geek, mm. that's that's all she's gonna get, you know. Yeah, I know. You, you know, I'm just I'm I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm on I'm on sideshow site right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to look to see if, and it's it's actually I'm amazed that it's actually available. Yeah, because it's so expensive. Uh, I thought it would have been. Yeah, well, it is expensive. It's coming in at. Uh, and by the way, folks, this is before shipping and before import taxes. Uh, so it's coming in in the UK at uh, eight hundred and eighty-five pounds. Uh, coming in the US dollar uh, about one thousand one hundred and fifty dollar. Uh, by the way, I don't like to um, to lie to people, and I have told you a fib. I have one. Hot toy to show off this week, by the way. Uh oh, I do have one, which I'll leave to the final one. But it's it looks huge. <laughs> you and I love the chest piece battle damage. Oh, dude! Well, I oh. haven't even gotten to that yet. Yeah, <laughs> we will see the rest of it on this show. I promise you. I that promise you. Oh, it looks so good. But if you get this, then you have to get the Mark Seven. Is it well, that goes? Well, I in do. There? I do have the Mark Seven. Now I'm wondering if I can if I can just show Mark okay. Seven does look good. Though. This is this is really. I don't know. If, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do this. To be honest, <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> God, I, I don't know what to do with how to get the rest of this over. It's too damn big. <laughs> it is twenty one inches in height. 21 inches. Uh, in addition, the deluxe version will ex uh, will exclusively include an LED light-up jackhammer left arm, so your left arm does light up. Yeah. The jackhammer arm does light up. Yeah. The <laughs> you wrap his arm in it and then <laughs> start battering his face. Yep. Yep. Um, I'm just trying... To see if I can get the correct because I'm not sure if I got the correct mark. 
I think it's the Mark Seven that goes. Well, it, it's funny. Okay, so you asked that question. Hang on, I'm wondering how I'm going to do. I set this up, but I'm going to have to here. I'll pull this in because this is this is going to be hard to do. No, it's the Mark Thirteen. It's the Mark Thirteen that goes in the Hulkbuster. The Mark Thirteen. Okay, if I set this down, here. which is great. Okay, and now it is in stock. <laughs> now, uh, 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 <laughs> now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, let me show you. Now, this is going to be. Bear with me. If uh, I, I can just imagine, all of this is going to come crashing down around me as I try and deal with this box. But there's something really interesting about this figure. Okay. So, first of all, oh my God, it's so heavy. So, here is the rest of the box, right? Mm hmm. So, if you open up this portion. It comes so. It comes with the bust, the uh, Iron Man mm. figure bust. That actually now that Iron Man figure bust fits inside the Hulkbuster. Yes. So you do have that. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool how it yeah. all and this is this all goes inside the Hulkbuster. This is a six scale version of that that fits in there. So. But I'm, I'll save the rest of the opening until later. So you get this stuff with it that goes on the inside. Oh, so what you're saying is you're cock teasing the audience. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. I, also get, my, also myself, because I've never opened this before. <laughs> you did so, the tip, and then you're just having a fucking time now. Here. Yeah. I mean, it is Christmas time, right? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set this down before I... Uh, open the rest of this bad boy because i've got something else i'm going to interrupt the showing with so i'll throw it over to you okay well because i my uh transformers have a theme uh so i showed off uh blur uh and blur wouldn't be blur if he wasn't with his posse and so uh the next one that i'm going to show off is and this can i say did I say Blur is my favorite? This is my favorite. <laughs> and the next one's going to be my favorite. And the next one's going to be my favorite. But these two guys, I fucking love. Uh, Cup and Blur. So this is Cup. Oh. Uh, this is the uh, other futuristic old sergeant. And look, this comes with a, a chewable cigar that he has. <laughs> He's just because there you go. He's an old, he's an old veteran of the Cybertronic Wall. And then I've put the split, the split logo on that one. Nice. That one actually, this opens up and breaks. So you've got to have a split logo, otherwise it's not going to mm. be able to to transform. But this is the cup version, and if this is just it's K K U P or K U yeah K U P with a cup. Not a C, it's a K. Um, and that the gun was just perfect to how he has it. See, there's the there's the quality code. Uh there you go, there's the QC. Yeah. Sticker that they uh they have to go through. And again, the articulation and the ratchet joints again. It's just absolutely insane the way you can get, but cups old. Done it all before. He's a veteran. So I wanted him in a much more uh, sedate pose, just chewing on his cigar, chilling out, hand on his hip, uh, nice and relaxed, gun in the air, looking oh. like an old seasoned war vet. Yeah, I love the pose. It's great. Ready, ready for action. And then this would transform into, I mean, the transformation takes ages. You, you transform these, it takes ages. Um, so, you know, when you get them in a robot form, this is the form that I, I truly want them in. But yeah. to look at this in the original, uh, if you looked at the cartoon version, it's just like, this is just perfect. Just absolutely. Can you still perfect. get these figures? Somebody in the, in the, um, chat was curious as to, can you still order them? Are they gone? You gotta, you gotta go on eBay and look on eBay now. Um, you, you can't get them. From the manufacturers, they're gone. When they do the run, they're gone, they're over. So if you want one, uh, you're going to have to look in specialized places, but eBay is... Yeah, 
Bam. I think that's something that that even Hot Toys, you know, a popular Hot Toys figure, if you don't jump on this stuff immediately, mm. uh, it it disappears, and then you you have to go to the secondary market. I mean, I've seen some Hot Toys figures they sell out. They they've made a lot more of the more popular Marvel and Star Wars characters, but still, especially like the Troopers, like some of those, like a Death Trooper or Stormtroopers, not so much from the the sequel trilogy, but classic stormtroopers and and death troopers and stuff and even the solo figures like the alden enright han solo figure man that shit sold out really fast and so and third party figures when you see a good th third party figure you should jump on it because you never know if you wait you're you you're never going to get it so the, those those transformers i bet went really fast oh yeah 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 um without without that i mean i before this stream i sent you a a picture of a an, an image of a of a, a one in six that I was just like whoa, and I was very happy to tell you. <laughs> yes, I wouldn't even know that was Big Chief that were putting that one out. So how great like, is that? Uh, so that but was, you know, I've had that figure on pre order for like a year and a half, and what we're talking about is is the six scale Flash Gordon figures. They're Big Chief out of the UK who make the Bond figures is making a six scale Ming the Merciless. Who, by the way, apparently was canceled by the British censor board for being racially insensitive. I didn't know the planet Mongo. I didn't know the planet Mongo <laughs> had a problem, yeah. but hey, I guess you know Mongo, Mongolia, <laughs> Genghis Khan. Okay, but um, and Max von Sydow is a Swede, and I guess that's where all toxic white male masculinity comes from, is Sweden. But Absolutely. so so um. Yes, so Big Chief, is, but they've been making that, I mean, I've been waiting for like a year and a half, maybe because, you know, COVID has disrupted anything. But, you know, these high-end action figures, some of them you order, like I've ordered Hot Toys figures that don't come until 2022. Same. You know, and, and it, it's it's the kind of thing where, you know, you figure, ooh, I've got my display and I can just go out and buy, like Moff Gideon was just put up on pre-order from The Mandalorian. That's a 2022 figure. 2022 yeah that's i've got moff gideon for 2022 i've got uh batman and the bat pod yep which i i have the bat pod and that bat those figures are great but again those are 2022 figures um and, Rebel, and, you know, Star Trek, sorry clone wars anakin skywalker 2022. in the, the stap i have that order too and you know all you have to do is put down like 25 bucks and then you pre-ordered it and then you have to wait two years <laughs> So you, so you can pay it off in installments, right? Right. That's the that's the thing. I mean, it, it, this would be uh, this would be untenable uh, as a hobby, yeah. you know, if you couldn't like uh, like pay them off. On the, um, I, I was going to say the, the 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 kind of saving grace is that you'll get a drip feed, so you'll you'll you know your dealer will give you a, a little bit to keep you tied over, <laughs> right? <laughs> Here, have a taste. Yeah. Well, and the funny thing is, is like, like I, I, I have to, uh, like I, uh, most of our budget, the way I, because people always ask, how can you afford these kinds of things? And I'm like, well, you have to have another job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it's like, okay, I've got work and like, I do things that I'm like, okay, from this particular payment, uh, cause I'll, it's like invoice payments. I'll be like, okay, if from this job, if I turn in five invoices, I know that the, this particular job is earmarked. Like I only allow myself to buy toys if I have extra income coming in from other things because i yeah. it's it's a weird it's just a weird thing but so if you don't if i'm if i don't have if i if i don't have any freelance gigs and i just don't i don't buy anything <laughs> you know you have to you have to suck it up <laughs> because most of your money it's got to go to house payments or or food and groceries and telephone bills and that's normal but it's it's if there's something i really want because i don't it's not like i'm buying a ton of these things it's not like I even get one every month. I mean, although that's happened, you know, it's because they don't release them like that. You know, mm -hmm. luckily they release, sometimes they might double up and release one or two or three things a month. But for the most part, you know, they only, they only come, like you said, in drips and drabs over the course of years. So it's not like you're laying out hundreds of thousands of dollars on these things, even though they're expensive. But you go out for a night out, you know, you go to a movie and dinner and that's a hundred bucks. Nowadays, yeah, with co with COVID, you know yeah, what else? I'm the on the um the street corner with a sign that says "Will stream for hot toys." Yeah, pretty much. You know, that's that's, that's like, streaming at eight for hot toys. Yeah, but I mean, I think the the great thing about these these hot toys is that is that 
they do. That's why I say when I get them, I open them up. You yeah, know, I'm not, yeah. I, I mean, I do keep the packaging and everything, but like this plastic packaging that comes in it. Yeah. Maybe I'll wrap it up again, but probably not. Like, yeah, that'll like, go normally for me. Yeah. I'll throw it, uh, it because it's just like, what am I going to do? I'm not buying these things as an investment. No. I'm only buying them because I like them. No, these, this is, this is eye porn. This is eye candy. This is eye porn. I want to look at them. I want to touch them. Uh, I want to make sweet love to them. <laughs> I want to look at them. I want to touch them. I want to appreciate them. You know, and I just want to appreciate them. You know, you want to take them off the stand from time to time. You just want to look at the detail and yeah, and the craftsmanship on them. Then you put them back. It's 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 a beautiful thing. It's a nice, you know, 1920s people had Clarice Cliff. You know, <laughs> 2020s hot toys. That that's the kind of way that we. I'm going with the geek thing. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, like these figures. Literally, until I they were in a box for six years, and these are some of my favorite figures. My Seven Samurai figures and Yo Jimbo and the bootleg Tom Cruise Nathan Algren from. Yeah, I, I had them in. A, they were in a box, and I hadn't had them set up. And and since I'd worked on the Star Trek Blu-rays, I had them in my office then, and I'm like, I literally was like, why? I love these figures. As I was moving stuff around in the Rob Observatory here, I'm like, why? Where have they been? Like, I forgot. I, I realized I haven't seen these figures in six years. And every time I sit down and turn my camera on and see them, like, this is a temporary thing because I'm moving stuff around. But every time I, these I'm leaving here. Mm. I love sitting down. I've, you know, I've posed right, them all. They're ready to fight. And I love these figures. And I'm like, I've, I bought these figures 15 they years ago. Me on the far left. <laughs> what's that it's not me on the far left <laughs> right here yeah <laughs> it is not i made it <laughs> i made it into the seven summer but they're not even hot toys they're just they're they're uh, i just i love them so now i got a couple of uh one in sixes which i haven't seen yet i gotta dig them out um which which i'll get for next time yeah uh, and they're not They're licensed, but I'm not sure if the hot toys. I'll have to check. Mm. Um, but they are they are a, a very stylized, kind of simplistic, but at the same time, it's that's the whole purpose, and it really works. Uh, but I, I, that's all I'm going to say for now. Oh, I like that. So, is, is I guess it's my turn now. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to hold off. Get it out. I'm going to hold off on opening this bad boy. Okay. Now, we, we talked a lot about Jazz Ink. Yes. Jazz Ink Dioramas. Now, Jazz Ink Dioramas is a, for those of you who don't know, it's a company out of the Netherlands that builds, for the most part, six scale environments for figures. And they are unlicensed. They're a third party company, mm -hmm. but um, no one in their right mind, like Hot Toys, was going to do this. Like, uh, Hot Toys said they were going to build a six scale cockpit for the Millennium Falcon. And we showed it last week. Yeah. I mean, it's gigantically massive. They've built a six scale land speeder that I have one day is going to show up. I already paid off that Millennium Falcon, uh, you know, paying off for a year. It's paid off, but they, you know, they're improving it or they sometime in 2021, it'll just show up on my doorstep. But the one uh, Jazz Inc. diorama that I ha have purchased is the Millennium Falcon cargo hold. Now, so again, this is just two dudes. It's a father and son who are making yeah. these environments. And basically, they're like movie sets. They're that good. So I had mine. Now, I, I haven't put it all together. I, I Again, I took it out of the box because I wanted to see, but I wanted to show it. You know, it's in pieces. But... Guy, here, yeah, we're going one at a time, dude. So you'll see the, you'll see the third in a minute. Don't worry. So... Here is oh, here's, the, just set. here's the table. Now it doesn't come with the pieces. I guess some third party company would have to oh, make that. Got to have done the pieces. But as you can see, yeah, and I mean the, the, the it, okay, it's yes. So uh, I I can't even tell you how uh, this stuff is all made with really heavy uh things. It's it's it, it, uh, so look here is here is. Take this down. Uh, Hulk, smash that like button, folks. Now, here, this thing weighs, this must weigh close to 10 pounds. Wow. Here, Here's the couch. I mean, where you sit. Wow. Now, now, they have put in the back, 
there is electronics in here. Ooh. So there is uh there is places to put the batteries and there is lights in here that light up. Wow. So this I mean I can't tell you how heavy this is. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So imagine um you know you've got it looks like it, it oh it looks like it's got some weight to it. Dude, it's so, this is so heavy. So if you look and if you think this is six, oh. six scale, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, so you got that. And, and then, then you got a couple of uh, you got your chewy. I got it. Yeah, down, yeah, uh, a yeah. Root. I got to Let me set this here. So, um, then here's a here's another piece to the couch that 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 uh, you you put down. And then it comes with inserts, so uh, these inserts to light up. You put it inside so it has red lights and put that there. Right, right, um, yeah, yeah. Now, also, uh, if I can show this, I haven't even opened this yet, but uh, here's the floor. So oh. it all, it, it, this is the floor piece, so it all goes on the floor piece. And then, not to be outdone, Oh, these these are these are the dioramas that you want, <laughs> dude. This is again. Uh, this is where the couch goes up. Here is the wall. Wow. Yeah. So this is the wall, and then this is you know where you walk. Yeah, yeah, through. yeah. Now, grief. Now, what they make? What's what's? And so you can see, this looks like a movie set. I mean, this is so far beyond yeah. in terms of quality. Uh, it's it's um this is amazing it's amazing you're and, gonna make a stock motion star wars correct yeah I, I mean or you could do photo shoots with it so now what they do also is um obviously that that opening goes nowhere so what they do is they also include no way no way no way no way well they they include back pieces nice so the back pieces are printed now what's really interesting so you see this so you've got you've got the edge of they are building this. So if you have this set, you can they're building the rest, they're building this in the same way. So this light up panel, which is opposite the so they this is on pre-order, it's supposed to come out in March of 2021. So you can you, you can actually buy this and put it together is that with what I am I going crazy? What's that? Is it upside down? Am I going crazy? Uh, is it upside down? No, you're right. It's upside down. Pardon me. Um, I did have it up. I wasn't. I couldn't really see it. So thank you. I go nuts, or is that upside? No, down? it's upside. It's upside down. I apologize for that. I wasn't paying attention. So this, um, this piece that you're seeing here, they're making this. So you can buy this, oh, and it oh comes. shit, no way. Yeah. So this is the other half. So you can actually wow. have the whole cargo bay. The piece that I'm showing, unfortunately, is sold out. So, and oh. and, and as as you know, Jazz Inc. really uh, once they're gone, they're gone. Uh, yeah. And and they've made environments of like the Emperor's throne room from Jedi. They've done they've done a Death Star where they actually had a 35 inch flat screen TV that showed the Death Star targeting the fourth moon of Yavin, and all that, and um. Uh, and you know, this, this stuff is, it's really, really, really well, well made. The problem is, where do you fucking put this thing? Uh, I don't know. That <laughs> I mean, is not a question we need to ask uh, Robert. I, I know, I know. And I'll tell you, I was leaving it in the box, but I'm like, I wanted to see what it was, you know? And again, these are things that, that they, they're very nice. They allow you to pay them off. Although this whole thing was like five, I think it was four ninety nine absolutely worth it yeah but they, they make like a six scale land, a whole land speeder you know luke's land speeder from the original and and that's they're also you know that's something that they're doing they're doing as we showed last week you have the justice mobile coming from from batman v superman uh the 66 batmobile they're making they're making a, a six scale snow speeder from empire strikes back one of the things i mean i if i had the money i would buy everything that they make yeah, because yeah. it's it's amazing and like i could see having a basement where the like they make the gantry from empire strikes back where luke and vader are fighting at the end and you can mount it to the wall oh. so you can actually have the gantry like come out from a wall and you can have the your hot toys figures fighting 
Now, here's the thing about these. No, no legitimate toy company would ever make these things because of the price point. And also yeah. not many people are going to buy them. You know, it's, it's people that know they either have places to buy them, like, or they like getting them. And we'll have to ask Justin next week about, about his experience doing a video about the justice mobile. Mm. We'll, we'll have him tell that story. Yeah. But, but, um, yeah, so th these things are they're they're amazing and it's the kind of thing that as a kid I'd always wanted, you know, to have these environments because it gives you a place to play with your toys that is real. You know, it's 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 six scale. It feels like it's big and substantial and I mean we it have, we have models for 3 and 3 quarter. Right, but they're we're, never we're an adult. We have models for our 1 in 6. I mean to get a to get a six scale Hot Toys was going to make a six scale Batmobile from the '66 Batman. They made an Adam West and a Burt Ward. They made an Adam West Batman and a Burt Ward Robin, which I have, and I bought them specifically because I wanted. You know, as a kid, my '66 Corgi Batmobile was one of my favorite toys sure. ever. Beautiful and car, so, just a beautiful stylized car, though. Yeah, yeah, and so they're making one, and then they're putting electronics in it. And what they do is, there are now people that work in the entertainment business that will send them the actual blueprints yes. for the sets and the interiors of things so they can more accurately recreate what it is that they're doing. And I think that, you know, I, I hope that nobody goes after them, but, but what they're, they're bringing me such joy. <laughs> Even if I don't like, you've got a few things on order that are amazing. Amazing balls. And so the, but again, where you put the i guess it doesn't matter you don't have to ask yourself but I what mean, I, I, I can't wait till i just get the bat signal the yeah, and, and, bat and signal. it lights up and i'm sure they make it so it's strong enough that when you when you put it up on your ceiling oh, it probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it puts out the bat signal who doesn't want that i had when i was uh, about four, 17 uh when i was about 17 or so my sister, for my birthday, mm. got me a Batman the Animated Series alarm clock. Ooh. And it was the alarm clock that came with the bat signal. And you'd set the alarm, and it would wake you up by saying, Gotham's in trouble, you know. Da -da -da. And it would shine the bat symbol. And when it's winter time, it was, you know, you could see it perfectly on the <laughs> on the wall that's the way it was designed it was designed to be it was small but it, you know but it was meant to be powerful so you could see it on your roof see it on your wall the bat signal but this is a a one in six <sighs> yeah i mean and and you look at it they've got it, it's it, it's just amazing it's it's unbelievable and they you know they take the time and they and nobody else would do this. I mean, Hot Toys has teased us with these things. They've teased us with a one-to-one -one Jedi Starfighter. They've teased us with the 66 Batmobile. I mean, they did make... I have Tim Burton's 89 Batmobile, the Hot Toys 89 Batmobile. Uh, I used to have the Tumblr, but I sold it. And then um, uh, uh, I did not get, unfortunately, the thing that I really want to get one day is the DeLorean from oh. Back to the Future. Well, the, the one in six... Jedi Starfighter is coming. That's what they say. Anakin, yeah. it's, it's coming. I, I mean, if uh, like I love those Starfighters, I've got miniature diecast ones over there. But I would, I would love to get that. But it's gonna be like it's gonna be like fifteen hundred bucks, two thousand bucks. And like, if you're gonna make it, if you're gonna make it, and you're gonna make it, it's probably gonna come out in twenty twenty three. Let me start paying it off now exactly. so in two and a half years when it shows up exactly so and it's paid off you've you've seen an increment come out every month the beauty about it is is once you paid one thing off <laughs> you know you're like i'm paid something off i have extra money to put to something else to put some, yeah well it's funny to me like like the millennium falcon cockpit was like you know a year and then, and then it's like paid off. And then I get an email saying, well, you know, we, and one of the interesting things about them, about Jazz Inc. is they're constantly improving things. So oh, they're yeah. like, you know what? We've added, we've added cloth seats, like to the Millennium Falcon 
the the seats that everyone sits in. The cloth. Now I was gonna, you know, I was gonna say, I was, I was gonna say, you know, if those seats were fabric, that would be next level. It, they are, and now they are. Uh, I mean, and 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 it's it's. It, it, I love the fact that there's industry professionals sending them like blueprints of things. Oh yeah, and um, and I've I've heard, you know, who knows what they're gonna do, what they're gonna do next, because like they added the extra cargo bay to the millennium falcon so if you have my thing then i'm thinking oh yeah my first inclination is oh well, i've got i already got the place where they're playing the uh <coughs> playing holographic chess. There, though. and then well, yeah and then uh, then you, here's the other half of the thing i'm like wait i know where you where it doesn't matter i mean but then uh, it, what I, I I can't even imagine. I mean, it's it's a set. It's like a film set. Where am I going to put that? I I guess it really matter. doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. The from the front room. I know, right? Mine, and then of course, you don't know which house is mine because at one point in time, you're going to drive past and there's going to be sofas stacked up in the front garden, and chairs and kitchen tables, and there's going to be and then you can look in the window and it's just going to be a fucking toy shop. <laughs> and I'm just going to be stood in the middle of the room going. What to do? I can't move. I took. I had to board up the door to get a cockpit to come through here, which goes upstairs. Well, I mean, you think about the six scale vehicles. Like that Justice Mobile is huge, and if you've got this eighty nine Batmobile, the Justice Mobile, which I don't, I didn't get that. Moving but I, house, uh, and, <laughs> and then the, the eighty nine and the Delorean, and what I really want, what I didn't, it d didn't get either. But I look at it. The Ecto One from Ghostbusters. I have all the figures. Mm -hmm. That Ecto One is amazing. It's gigantic, but it's six scale. It's amazing. Oh, oh you gotta have that. <laughs> and it just goes up in price. I mean, it's sold out. What does it love? Oh, to, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Five hundred bucks. I mean, you could get a real car for what it costs to get that six scale Ecto One from Ghostbusters. I, your, I, new, I, your new car isn't the Ecto One. <laughs> And every time you get in that car, you'll be disgusted with yourself. <laughs> I know, right? It be the Ecto One, <laughs> and it's not because I selfishly bought a car to transport my family places. Uh, by the way, the way that I afford this thing is I I, I don't have a woman. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, when you do, That's you have to sneak it all in. You, you got to make sure rerouting UPS package isn't going to pick them up at the waypoints. <laughs> Making sure that someone's not home or in class when you're like, oh, it's here. You know, and you walk out and you I'm just going to go see if the mail's here. And then you slide around. The, you go through the gate and, like, bring it in uh, into the garage. Like, no one's seeing me right now. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we had a joint bank account? No, fuck off. <laughs> don't, like, don't ever ask me that again. No, get out of my sight. <laughs> I have to say this, though. The, 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 the figure, I did get a figure uh, this month. And it, it's a gift. For my girlfriend. Mm. I got her a figure. I did not buy myself a figure this month. Uh, but I used my points. I used my points and bought her a figure. And she what? will love it. She'll love it. My she doesn't, Sorry, she's gonna, well, she'll love it. She doesn't know. It's something that's from something that she loves. And she didn't know. I didn't even know. that. I mean, I'd seen that they'd made the figure. But it was something I wouldn't have thought. I can't say what it is if she's watching the show right sure. now. Yeah. But, um, yes. So, I, I no figures for me. But. <laughs> Text me later and whatever. Yeah. And tell me. Oh, I'm gonna bugger this one up. But yeah, my my um my brother is is a normal person. You know, he's he's uh he's been working <laughs> for the same company all his life. Uh he started off in, in part time when he was like 16, you know, just mm. while he was at uh, college, and then um well at high school, you know, sixth form, and then when he went to college, he was like, hey is there any way that I could work for your branch down here? And they're like, yeah, yeah, you're a good worker. So they he's like, but you know, you're pretty good. So would you like a little bit more responsibility and a better job? So he said, yeah. And then when he left college and was deciding what to do, um, they're like, Hey, do you want to do this job? Anyway, 20 years later, 30 years later, he's still working for the same company. Oh my God. Elizabeth is in the chat. My girlfriend is in the chat. Ooh, there you uh -oh. go. There you go. Yeah, I heard that. Uh oh. I heard that. <laughs> well, 
Oops. Yeah. There's no secrets in this house. Yeah. If there was anything derogatory said, it, my girlfriend's called Lizzie. So, you know, it's probably that. <laughs> Isn't that right, Lizzie? Yeah, there it is. There you go. Uh, but my brother's a normal guy, you know. He just his his uh, house is pretty Spartan, not for any other reason than that's the way he likes it. He likes it that way. He's very efficient in his work. He's very efficient at home. Uh, I sent him a, a photo, but he likes his his OG Star Wars mm. because when we were kids, that's what we were brought up on. So he likes to watch his OG Star Wars. Loves the stormtroopers. Loves the outfit. Loves the design. So when the Remnant stormtrooper came out. I send him a picture. I send him a picture of the remnant stormtrooper. And he's just like, what the fuck is this? And I say, well, this is a, a one in six scale figure of the remnant stormtrooper from the Mandalorian. Mm. And he's just like, God, that looks great. That looks fantastic. And I, and I just thought, just taking the piss because it's my brother. I was like, I'll get you one for Christmas if you want. And then he's just like, Dot, dot, dot. I kind of would really like that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would. Yeah. So I, so I was like, so I was like, okay. So I, then I send him pictures of like the incinerator stormtrooper and stuff like that. I said, no, 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 no. I like the stormtrooper that looks like shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay, I will get you the stormtrooper that looks like shit. Looks all weathered and beaten and and yeah. So he's he's got that. He knows he's got that. He's very happy that he's got that. Um, third, to complete the trifecta of cup, blur, well, folks, you know who it's got to be. It's got to be Hot Rod. Now, these are all the same company. All the same company. Oh, they really do a great job. Those all look really great. Uh, this is all fans, toys, uh, die cast, you know, lots of die cast on these, by the way. They've got weight to them. This ain't plastic. Yeah. But, you know, it's plastic and die cast. Um, very articulated. Uh, you know the way the wheels kind of they would be coming out That's and all. So that. cool. Yeah. So the way that you transform them again, there's little jiggery pokery. The way they do things, very clever. This is a simplistic, but that is what the figure looked like in the cartoon. Right. And then once again, I have placed the Autobot. I placed that sticker on. Now you had to buy that separately. Yeah, I, I bought very specific size stickers. So was there another third party that made stickers specifically for these figures? I just people that you could just have sticker runs, but loads of people putting out sticker runs of, of really good ah. uh ones. So that was Can you do the noise again? <laughs> but look at this. Look at this for real hot rod. Ooh. Head the hot rod visor comes out. So then he wow. has his glasses. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. Now, so how long ago did you get these? How long? Uh, and are the, uh, they're on eBay? You said. About a year ago. Yeah. About a year ago, but I've got like the Pierre de la Resistance to come. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, these, this is the these are the four Playboys, and then there's a there's a cum shot. <laughs> there is there is there is a there is a, there is a there is a climax and the climax is unbelievable that's all i can say um so yeah so we got cup blur and hot rod the three guys from the movie uh hot rod becomes rodimus prime mm. uh, because um ultra magnus couldn't open the uh matrix uh, and then Hot Rod gets hold of the Matrix, and then he opens the Matrix, and he transforms into, into Rodimus Prime. But that is the Hot Rod, not the Rodimus Prime. So you can get a Rodimus Prime, and the Rodimus Prime is bigger, slightly bigger. Uh, it's got an older visage. Now, you can face swap this to a Rodimus Prime face right? if you want to play that game. Um, but, who doesn't? Yeah, who doesn't? But there are slight differences between the two. And so you can go for a, a a bigger, a bigger, bulkier, which yeah. so hot rod to me was like the younger one, the upstart, the hot head. Uh, but to have cup blur 
Uh, yeah, you got the touch. You got the power. Uh, so have Hot Rod, Cop, and Blur is just Leshian's bollocks. The dog's bollocks. Uh, which is fantastic. Now then, what have you got, sir? Because well, next is the big boy for me. I mean, I don't... I, I have to move around. Sure. <laughs> I have to move all these... I'm... Uh, I'm actually not. I, I've got to figure out like where where am I going to put all this stuff? <laughs> well, you, you did get your cock pit out for us, so you know. I I did I did. Let me set this over <laughs> here. I guess I guess the only thing I have left to do is open this thing. Sure. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of scared to be honest. I'll open you. I'm kind of terrified because this thing is really heavy. So don't break it. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna do. Uh oh, so stuff's already fallen. Hang on. No! So I'm gonna gonna slide this out because luckily this this part's not heavy. I'm gonna give you a full screen. Oh yeah, that that, that massive, massive. Oh my thing. god, oh, dude! Wow, wow. That's so huge. I huge. I don't even know what to say to this. Holy, holy moly, Toledo. Uh. First of all, look at how many batteries this bad Holy boy comes with. Holy shit! There's the batteries for the Hulk oh Buster. Oh my and, uh, god. For anyone who has Hot Toys, it comes with the, the tool to put them in. Yeah, so, which, you do, which the others don't. They just come with the batteries. You could spend... I can't even... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Um, wow. I mean, it's enough that you got the battery, all those batteries. I mean, there he is. There, uh, there is the Hulkbuster, but it wouldn't be any fun if I didn't take oh, him out. Take it out, baby. Take it uh, out, baby. I'm. Wow. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oy vey. Oh my god. Jeez, dude. Uh. Wow. I don't even know. <laughs> batteries <laughs> are included. Uh, batteries are included. I mean, I. <laughs> I don't even know Holy what to say. Moses. Dude, I don't even know what to say about this bad boy. Well, somebody uh, did tweet me wow. um, last week and say, you guys cost me $600 on your hot toy stream because yeah, they went yeah. out and they spent 600 bucks on hot toys. I mean, I got to say, first of all, oh, this <laughs> smells so good. I want to sniff it. I do want to sniff it so uh, badly. Um, And again, I mean... All, there's all kind. I mean, I can't even begin to tell you, because like this all opens up in here. I, I, I've got to read the instructions. I don't want to, but this all pops up. All of these things. I can't. Well, there, yeah, got breastplates interchangeable. There is, so, there is so much articulation and movement in this oh. thing. And, and again, ratchet joints. Um, I mean, look at that. This is just. This is just insane. Insane. Looks. Uh, um, here, I'll see if I can fly. It's so heavy. This thing is Look so at those heavy. feet. Oh, oh man. my God. Those feet are incredible. They're incredible. Look at that. Uh, here, I'll move this. Let me move this. Oh, here. my God. Uh oh. That's falling off. Gushing. There's, there's, there's so many pieces to this. Uh, obviously, I, I haven't figured out uh, how to open all this stuff up, but just wondering if someone in the chat's going to spare one thousand one hundred dollars. <laughs> everything in this thing moves, and th this this thing has to weigh ten pounds. Fucking hell! I mean, it 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 is it is, is heavier than some newborn babies. <laughs> oh yeah, no, this totally is. I mean, this is so. Uh, I I can't even begin to describe how. Uh, like this, this has to be one of the most amazing in terms of engineering. I've never seen anything quite like it. I've got to figure out how it all goes together, though. <laughs> well, those they, those breastplates are interchangeable. Yeah, I mean, and the whole thing comes off. Yeah, it's got to come up for the figure to go in anyway. Yeah, I mean, this. It, it, I can't even begin to tell you how. Like, I mean, all of these ratcheted joints, the feet. This is so detailed. I mean, this is insane insane in the membrane it's beautiful and think about it so if you look at this 
And this isn't even all like these batteries. Each one of these batteries represents. Yeah, light. Elizabeth, you should go and you should go and help out. I think that light up. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm just more. In, I know this. You you're going to appreciate what I say here, Robert. I'm more impressed that they gave you the opening tool than I am with the amount of batteries. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is how that is how many batteries they are. They're like, look, we're actually gonna put the tool in as well to help you. I mean, Instead of you trying to find this ultra small uh, Phillips head screwdriver that you may or may not have. Yeah, I, I, I mean this, I, 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 this bad boy. You know, this is five years. I've waited for this for five years. Jeez, Louise, and, uh, I can't even begin to tell you how much. I love this. <laughs> I mean, the articulation and the the engineer. I look at this. The engineering in this is insane. The individual fingers moving. Oh, are they all? Yeah, and they're they're oh. they're all jointed. They're all jointed, yeah. I mean, uh, oh, Jesus, this, this some crazy ass shit. And let me tell you, I might be a middle aged man with one foot in his grave, <laughs> but this. This makes me feel young is when the world yeah. was new to quote Star Trek The Wrath of Khan. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Oh wow. such a smile on your face, man. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh, it's like saying tick for the time in your life. It's like an epiphany, you know, it's it's just yeah. like oh my god, they're incredible. <laughs> yeah. Look at this bad boy. Yeah. Oh my god. Jeez. <laughs> so yeah there you go um i i <laughs> a piece fell off the back here that i have to pick up but uh i will i don't quite know what i'm gonna do with this now <laughs> you just that needs people need to see that look at this yeah baby so that's where the 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 figure i guess you know when you open this thing open up, up yeah that's where the the iron man figure goes um wow oh. nice so, that is that is delicious i mean what it's just crazy to think like this is a sixth scale hot toy yeah so so you know to give somebody an example of of i'm look i don't have any that i can within range so we'll hang on let's see um okay here is here is here's john travolta from pulp fiction okay, okay? Good here's, a, here's a regular uh six scale hot toy or this is not a hot toy this is um ace i think yeah i want so, six though. so here's a six scale figure or as justin would say figure here's yeah. a six scale figure and so six scale figure which I is mean, fantastic i i can't even so that's the this is the size. I mean, I can't. I'll I can't be going down on it as well. Don't I can't. Worry. I can't. I can't lift it. I can't. So if I lift it up higher, so, so oh, to give you a, look at it. To give you an example. Here's a regular six scale figure. So you're looking at a two, is, twelve inch yeah, figure here. Damn. That's how big it is. Oh my god! It is ginormous. Wow. So, do, you know uh, what do you know what I'm thinking, Robert? I'm already thinking what the import taxes would be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, as Ferris Bueller said, it is so choice. You should pick yeah. one up if you have the means. <laughs> 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 oh, this is like the, the California, the Ferrari, the, the California Ferrari in Ferris Bueller's day off. Like I can imagine if I had a, a teenage son he would come in with his friend and like borrow this and something terrible would happen to it. And then his friend would say, Hey, your father's priorities are so fucked up that he doesn't deserve this fine of a toy. <laughs> so, so there you go. Uh, wow. Unboxed. Oh, unboxed. And beautiful. Unboxed and beautiful. My God. And you know what? You can't really see it on the video, but all of the weathering in here, there's paint ops and weathering that's really well done. Somebody's I mean, got a really good question, actually, Robert. Have a Hulk figure to compare it to. Uh, I do. Where is my Hulk figure? I'm trying to think of where it. it you know what? I do, but I can't. I can't reach it right now. Uh, he's over there. I can't. I can't, I can't get to it, unfortunately. Elizabeth. 
It's in a, Elizabeth couldn't get to it either. <laughs> but you know what? Uh, that will be. Um, that will be. Uh, I mean, that'll be next. You, next you gotta get it together. Yeah, I gotta put. I gotta put all this together, and there's a lot of work to be done. Oh yeah. But yeah, I, I will display them fighting, and I'll have, yeah, to, put, I'll have to put the. I'll put the put the pummeling, you know, the the pummeling. Yeah, get his, arm trapped, get his arm trapped in the pummeling device, and then... yeah, because and that's the whole thing is to put the Hulk. And what's great is the Hulk already has the way I've displayed my Hulk. He already has his fist up. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to do the the you know the, this clanging fists. God. Because you have to. Um. So oh, wow, yeah. I'm gonna set this down for the time being. Uh, Wow. I don't know about you, but I came. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> wow. Ivey. Oh my goodness me. Well, this is gonna this is this was my big boy to kind of end, you know, the sort of theme that I had. And now after that, it, I, I feel inadequate. Well, it's not the size of your toy, man. It's the love you feel for them. It's how you pose it. <laughs> it's how you play. It's how you play. Well, it's not the size of your toy. It's how you play. It's quite big, but I mean, it's just nowhere near as big as yours. That's what I just. Yeah, but this is too big. This is like, uh, like, uh, what is that guy? Shane. Uh, what's his name? I forget. John Shane Diesel. Diesel. Shane oh. Diesel. <laughs> It's not Shane Diesel sized. Okay, Boy, maybe it is. <laughs> well, I mean, we've seen Hot Rod Cup and Blur from the future. Uh, it only seems fitting that they should have a villain from the future mm. to fight. You see, so of course their sort of people were Cyclonus and Scourge uh, to fight against. But um, why have Cyclonus and Scourge when you can just have Galvatron? Ooh, wow, that's really nice. Holding the Matrix. Is that some spring-loaded thing in the uh, the orange, like the weapon he's got? Is that spring-loaded? Uh, this, you can actually change this to two different colors. You can have the cartoon orange one, uh, or you can actually take this out, and you can have like a... Uh, Sort of a clear, not clearish, but sort of speckled orange one, which the uh, original um, uh, has not Hasbro. I say, you know, it's, it's Hasbro uh, model came with when it for, when it came out for them. So you can either you know, so you can make it look a little bit like that. So the again, the articulation is just absolutely crazy for posing now what did uh, those caught what do those set you back this this galvatron cost me about 250 yeah okay uh and the cut blur and hot rods cost me around 170 each around about that so those uh, are, those aren't cheap no 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 they're not cheap but they are insane look you can see even the side you know the way that they can turn on the side to give you a, a spread pose, but then keep it flat. So the way that you can pose the legs, and then, you know, the, if you want to get them straight, you can just have right. it in. So you've got all that mobility with the ankles, uh, too. You know that that uh, there's got to be a voice chip in there. Oh, you just... <laughs> <laughs> our boy, our boy. I mean, you've got... you've got. Um... Well, this was Leonard Nimoy. I, that's what I mean. He's yeah. our boy. Now, now, did you did you get the Haslabs Unicron? I could, they couldn't ship to the. They said they oh, couldn't ship right. to the UK. Yeah, because I was thinking, looking at those, you have to have Unicron. I, 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 if I could look, someone will sell them. Have money, will pay. <laughs> 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 when it comes to the Unicron, you know, I, 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 I need I, Unicron Haslabs. I need well, it. Like I don't, I don't collect Transformers, but I wanted to bust on that Unicron. I was like, oh. uh, that's pretty damn cool. Wow, that's but, you know really the beauty of this, of course, was the fins go back like they did. 
Uh, when you got the OG toy, the fins would go straight up. The color court, the color scheme yeah. on the original toy was completely wrong. It was like gray chest and all this, and it, that's not how it looked in the cartoon. So this is this is uh, movie uh, cr- specific, movie correct, and that's from the the Transformers movie. The you got the you got the power. You got the power. You yeah. got the look. Yeah. You got the power. Oh yeah. So this just looks incredible. It's incredible. Wow. And then he's got his tank, his tank mode, which he can go into as well as gun mode. Yeah. So there's my the Galvatron to uh to finish my little bit of fans toys. Mm. Uh, we got super chats we need to Yeah, I would say do, yeah. I do have one hot toy which I'll show at the end, which you've seen. You've seen. I've shown you. Uh, but let's go through some super chats. Oh my goodness, there's been a quite a few super chats. Uh, SJ Almighty uh, with a two pound super chat. Have a how oh, shit. I didn't press my button. Have a how oh, oh. uh, and then he follows it up with a, a hot dog sticker for another one pound fitty. Thank you, SJ Almighty. Uh, Gary Walker with a one pound fitty phallic. How down, how down. <laughs> and then Mr. Tickle Trunk with a one Canadian fiddy phallic. <laughs> how down. Um, Scottish nerd with a two pound super chat. Hi, as an RMB, I'm on the edge of my seat with the expanse. Oh, it's so good. I'm hearing it's really good. I hear them nailing this thing. Yesterday, this episode was epic. <sighs> I need to catch up then. Uh, Theta Sigma with a ten dollars super chat. Curse you, gentlemen! My addiction was only to electric guitars. I had sworn off models forever. After you two and your shows, bam! I now have two very nice Enterprise and Enterprise A models coming. Oh, you gotta like that. Enterprise A. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh, I, can stay, I can smell it already. My God, when my D's come. Oh. Yeah. I I will weep. <laughs> I, I, will, I will weep. It'd be like one of those really uncomfortable sex. You're so happy you're having sex with this specific girl that you start weeping during it and she's just like, fuck. <laughs> Get the fuck off me! <laughs> yeah, <it's so> <laughs> <sighs> Don't drink at college when you're young. It doesn't uh Man of War 665, neighbor of the beast, of course, just next door. Uh US were ten dollar was so relieved that there wasn't even the slightest hint of green titty milk breath. Oh, not on our beautiful boy. Our beautiful boy at the end of The Mandalorian. <laughs> beautiful boy. Are you a Jedi? I am. I know you are. You are the bestest Jedi. <laughs> we love you. Uh, yeah, God, I, I loved it. I loved it. I, lo- I, don't, I can't even tell you how many times I've watched the last 15 minutes of that show. <laughs> it is, it's going into insane numbers at the moment. And I just, I'm not even sick of it. I'm not even sick of it. Oh, yes. Uh, Mech1164 with a $5 super chat. This is the point where Gallifrey and geometry would be needed. It's now for both of you. Oh. Uh, I can't think of what that was in relation to. I can't remember. We must have gone off on some tangent. <laughs> uh, Roger Haynes with a two Canadian super sticker of a thumbs up. Thank you, Roger. Uh, Cecil with a $5 super chat. I don't have this particular addiction, but I can listen to you to shamelessly gush over your dolls all day. <laughs> <laughs> Doll. Hey! Christmas. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like balls. <laughs> Happy New Year. I just loved it when the first I loved it last week. 
when we're getting the show set up, what let's do a hot toy show, let, you know, or well, the week before, actually, I think it was. <laughs> let's do whatever it well, you know, let's let's do a hot toy show. We've got these great hot toys, it's gonna be so much fun. Setting up the stream, getting ready, it's just like, oh god, I hope some people turn up, you know, because I thought like 10 people would turn up. <laughs> right. I hope people turn up, and so I go to that, I go to see if there's anyone waiting. Yeah, I'm a little bit giddy, I get a little bit giddy when I'm doing something different, something new. The first fucking comment. Oh, I can't wait to see you see your dolls. It's just like, oh, he's right. We're just playing with our dolls. We are. I don't care. And I don't care. That's the beauty. Uh, thank you. Merry Christmas, Cecil says. Happy New Year to both of you. Merry Christmas to you, Cecil. And I hope you have a great New Year too. Uh, appreciate that. Uh, Gary Walker with a five pound super chat. Well said, RMB. Toys are meant to be played with. I feel the same with my toys, which are synthesizers. They're musical yeah. instruments, but they're meant to be played. They're meant to be played. You've got to touch them. You've got to caress them. You've got to make sweet music with them. They're meant to be bent and these articulation things. <laughs> I mean, come on. they got to have 20 points of articulation. They're fully articulated. Next week with Justin from Justin's Collection, Ooh. you and me, the second episode of Fully Articulated on my channel. I come back as a guest. Wow. Two weeks in a row. Well, come on, it's our, you know, yeah. You come back as a guest two weeks in a row, and we got another guest. It's going to be great. I, I mean, can you imagine? I, I'm telling you, the three of us together, it's going to oh, be, it's, it's going to be global, literally global it's domination. Trifecta. It's the trifecta. It's the trinity. It's going to be like that, wouldn't it, really? That's what it'd be like. It's the trinity. Yeah. Oh, my God. Do you think we might activate... The DNA with us to make a superhero. <laughs> Combine all. If you ever ever seen a movie, Wild Wild Planet, it's a Fr French Italian science fiction film, not to be missed. By the way, anyone out there, what? Go to YouTube and type in Wild Wild Planet trailer. Okay. Tell me, tell me. It's about a mad scientist who combines people together to make the ultimate super being. But when you watch it, it's from 1965. Tell me it's not the greatest movie ever made. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, it's only the trailer. I don't know. Maybe you can see the whole movie, but I, yeah, I've you, been, you see the trailer and that's it. I, I have the movie. I own the movie, but I, 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 the movie is the greatest thing ever. It's, it's back from a simpler time as <laughs> a much simpler time, <laughs> a much simpler time. <laughs> you know, me, I was actually watching the, um, the Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, Return of the Jedi fight today. Mm, as one um, does. Which I think, I, which one does? Yes, we know one does these things, and I think it's a beautiful fight. I think it's a perfect fight. It just does what it needs to do. And I thought to myself, Jesus fucking Christ! If that if that fight was made today, oh, if that, if that fight was made today, it would be so different. It'd be bloated and all over the place, and this because the set where the fighting is very small. It's a very small throne room. Well, you know what I love about that? I love when Luke. There's the one moment where where Vader's looking for him. Yeah. He Luke's, and you see Luke rise up in the frame with his lightsaber above his mm. head, and he's like, ah! yeah. And just, then you've got William's score rises up with a choral section. Yeah, and you see them fighting like this across the. And and I, I even thinking about it right now, I'm I'm feeling the the imagination orgasm of of the, mm. the how that with that music. It's all, because it's nowadays people watch the fight as a visceral thing, but this was all emotion. Yes, and even though you're yeah. it, you, you know in the camera, it's one shot watching them you know fighting across the it, yeah. It's almost like in silhouette, and you see the lightsabers flashing, and and then of course, but it's William score, and it means something. You know, you're not just watching. I mean, fights are cool. Well, I love a good fight, and 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 now everything is cut so quickly, and it's you know the editing makes you it makes you think what you're seeing is action packed, yeah. but really you're just responding to the edits. Yes. Whereas in that in that fight, when Luke rises up, it's pure emotion, and you're you're yeah they're battling, but you're caught up in the in the meaning of it all, and with that music, the choral music, that's oh, what gets. Right. You. Yeah, that's right. That is where it gets you, though, because it's quiet. It's quiet, and then, ooh. and then the end of it, where Vader gets—he's on the ropes, man. Vader's yeah, down, and Luke is oh. wailing on him. And you're waiting. You're like, "Are you going to succumb to the dark side right here?" 
Yeah, you're gonna you know, you're gonna wailing yeah. on Vader and wailing on Vader, and you wonder like, did is the Emperor gonna win? And then Vader loses his hand. It was shocking, you know. And mm -hmm. then Luke, if if Luke didn't didn't get a hold of himself, he might have been lost forever. But he does. Yeah. Oh, well, well, I mean, that's the beauty of losing the hand because then he looks at his hand and he realizes that's how it starts. Yep. That's how it starts. It starts when you know you start to replace who you are. Because that's what these, this is what this hand represents the dark side. Mm -hmm. that, that it represents what you could lose or the, the loss of your humanity. Yeah. The way that he looks at his gloved hand and looks at Vader's destroyed, now handless arm, then he realizes, no, this is, this is the step. This is the step which leads you there. And that's when he zoop, and then throws his lightsaber away. I'll never. And it, the way he flings it away is great. I'll yeah. never join you. Yeah, just, just, I'll never join you. It's a perfect bit of physicality. And you will die. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love it. Um, Tyrion I've opened up my Emperor figure. He's up there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't even get on the wait list for Palpy because it's wait list is full. Uh, you know what? I, I thought I had bought... I have an action figure fetish for chairs. I love action figures with chairs. I thought that I had ordered the Palpatine with his throne, mm. and I didn't. And when it came, I was like, what? what? Makes two of us. <clears throat> Makes two of us. Uh, Tyrion Razar with a $5 super chat. Do you think it's time we stop having faith in multi-billion dollar companies after seeing the mess CD Projekt Red purposely put themselves into? Um, I don't have a lot of faith in multi million dollar companies anyway. I've made much more faith in small to medium sized enterprises, uh, SMEs, than I do to uh, big business. Big business just follows trends and follows the yeah. money. I mean, I don't, I don't begrudge big business, you know, I don't begrudge capitalism and things like that. I because that's fine, but but by definition, they have to make a product that is consumable by the widest number of people so you know we're all i always call my audience members imagination connoisseurs we you and i are toy connoisseurs gamers are game connoisseurs i mean the things that we're consuming we expect excellence and mm. a mass produced item like i'm happy that when i grew up kenner toys was making star wars toys but but nowadays all of the things that i'm interested in are specialty items they're not mass produced yes. and that's true of also films I mean, before, studios were not owned by multinational corporations. Mm -hmm. So you had studio heads that were shooting from the hip a lot of the time, especially the old moguls, whether it was Louis B. Mayer or somebody else. And th usually the buck stopped with him, and he would decide what movies got made. Now, all movies, especially at the studio level, are really made by a committee. And one of the things that yeah. I do like about the MCU is you have people like Kevin Feige who controls it. Now, whether you like the 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 like the MCU movies are they're tame, tamer than they could be, but they're designed by definition to be PG movies to appeal to the most amount of people possible. But I have to say, the twelve year old in me, which is really what the MCU, they they the, the conflict between Steve Rogers and and Tony Stark was mm -hmm. handled well. You mm -hmm. know, and the fact that we get the, the idea that the Winter Soldier killed Stark's parents on a while he was unfrozen, they don't flinch away from those things. Um, and I and I think that's the Marvel Cinematic Universe has it's got its ups and downs, but at least as far as mass entertainment, while it's being released by Disney, it didn't start at Disney, and because they were successful, the Marvel Cinematic Universe has at least retained its autonomy from a creative standpoint. Nobody's telling Kevin Feige what to do. Yeah, but I think Kevin Feige is starting to make some very weird noises. Well, yeah, and we'll see. We'll see. I mean, to me, the 23 film Infinity Saga, while not all of it's perfect, is pretty amazing. When you get to Infinity War and Endgame, like my, again, my 12 to 16 year old self will always love the Infinity so what, Saga. Next Secret Empire, and that's going to do, that's the thing which destroyed the comics. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of weird stuff going on. I mean, I think they should go back and do like I want to see the Kree Scroll Wars. You know, they go back to the 70s and 80s 
comics, whereas the Secret Invasion stuff was it was gimmicky think, to begin with. The only thing I'm interested in from Marvel at the moment is Wonder Vision. Yep, which the looks only thing which has my interest. Looks crazy, and if yeah. Wonder Vision, I think the the multi I call it the mm -hmm. the multiverse trilogy. WandaVision, Doctor Strange, and Spider-Man. Clearly, there's a through line there because they're dealing with the multiverse. I'm curious to see what they do because that's something different where they take a multi-issue crossover that's not a company-wide crossover, but a story like a story that bled across annuals or, you know, it's a story that goes across one Vision and Scarlet Witch was one comic, Spider-Man's one comic, and Doctor Strange was one comic. That's kind of what we're doing, what they're doing, and they, we've never got that before. So like you, I'm really curious to see what WandaVision is going to be. Mm. But it's it's because it looks different. Yep. Yep. Um, and everything just looks generic. You know, everything, the next Captain Marvel film, never watched the first one. But I guarantee you they'll be generic. Um, the, the Black Widow movie, I bet you that's generic. Uh, yeah, I, I'm curious though. I mean, I, I, I think the cast in that Black Widow movie is really, really good. I mean, I really want to see where it goes. But yeah, we'll see. I mean, I don't know. But it's seven years too late, if you ask me. Yeah, that film it should have they should have uh, got it uh, into production after Iron Man two. I... Uh, she was absolutely white hot coming off of that with ScarJo, and uh, it was a great a great opportunity to learn about uh, Natasha. Yeah, I know. I but they didn't know if it would work back then. They didn't know if a female they didn't want to risk a on a woman. Yep. Scarlett Johansson. Okay. Okay. Uh, Mark C with a $5 super chat. Do either of you have the Hot Toys or Sideshow? I know you have. Indiana Jones. Yeah. I, I have. I, I, you know, I, one of the things I slept on was I did want to get the Sideshow Temple of Doom indie, which I never got. One day I might pick that up. But I do have the Sideshow DX. Uh, Indiana Jones figure. The problem again, Hot Toys has never been able to nail Harrison Ford's face, mm. and and that figure is pretty cool because it comes with the normal Indiana Jones figure, and then it comes with when he's disguised as as a digger when he goes and finds the Well of the Souls. Um, so it comes with both of those those versions. But I mean, they're good figures, but I just wish the the they've never been able to nail Han Solo. They've never just can't do Harrison Ford. I don't know why. <laughs> Han Solo disguised as Indiana Jones. Of course. Right. Uh, and then Mark C follows up with another $5 super chat. Do either of you keep an emergency stash of ramen noodles for weeks with multiple final payments? Uh, yes. It mine the called uh, tins and tins of Heinz baked beans. <laughs> How very Watchmen of you. It's very Rorschach yeah, I, I of you. Have, yeah, I have a, a cupboard full of uh, tinned baked beans. Uh, for if I ever got myself into a situation, which touch wood, I haven't. If I ever got myself into a situation where I could not afford jack shit, it's there. All I all I'd have to do is buy a loaf of bread. I got beans on toast. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy with beans on toast. It's a yeah, great I mean, food. I don't really, to be honest, I don't really buy <clears throat> too much stuff. You know, the the stuff I get now is stuff that that I really really want and mm. and it's not like I don't buy multiple figures. I'll buy I'm like really one. You want everything. <laughs> yeah, I mean I do. I it's it's true. But even even like uh, yeah, you can't it, it, it's it, it I just don't I I never I I used to do that. I used to get into a place where I'm like I don't have to eat for a couple of days, but now I've got too many responsibilities. I I pay bills off first and and I don't do the stupid oh, yeah, shit yeah, I do. Yeah as a kid for, yeah for all the stuff that i i purchase or you know have payment plans for these are all coming after responsibilities yeah so yeah. these are all coming after rents paid bills are paid taxes are taken care of you know this is this is all those making sure all that sort of side is dealt with then if i am fortunate enough to have a disposable uh then i can Maybe put something on layway. Uh, maybe I'll be able to uh, to to grab a hot toy. Who knows? Well, oh, what's yeah. also what's really interesting now is is if there's something that comes out that you want, it literally is two years before it's actually going to come out. 
Mm-hmm. So, you know, you can put down a de- like now they didn't used to requ- deposit require deposits, but now they do, but the deposits aren't that much, like 25 bucks. Yeah. You know, and then it's like this is coming out in 2022. <laughs> and so it it isn't like every month you're you're buying stuff, you know, and and um as I've gotten older, just like I used to buy a bunch of different things, like Gundam figures, model kits, six scale. Oh. Now it's like I don't I'm over it. I'm over that hole. I have to have every single thing. Mm. So the things I buy are very, they're very, they're the only stuff I spend my money on are books and Blu-rays, which really aren't that expensive unless you're buying an omnibus and, you know, Blu-rays, I I don't buy that many, you know, Mm. other than it seems like we buy more because we're doing the show, but even if Blu-rays are cheap, you know, you buy them on sale, you get things on, Mm. I buy Criterion discs twice a year at the Criterion sale where they're 50% off. So, you know, it's the kind of thing where where you yeah, don't hold on. Just if I there's my uh that's my sideshow uh nightfall bust, Batman. Oh wish I got that nightfall, that Azrael that you showed is so that was amazing. Oh I wonder how much that sell for now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't want your money. Uh not having it though. Off. Uh Fenrir Fire with a two dot suture as the Transformer Whisperer. Uh yeah, well, I, I I really would love to have Cyclonis and, and Scourge to go with them, this. To, then he would have six and I'd be thrilled. Uh, but they're the probably two hardest to get. <laughs> uh Fat Steven Seagal beat up CD Project Red with two Canadian. Why DSP as I can't stop watching him now and dead. Um, the pig, you, you, you succumbed to pignosis. Uh, Gorma Kyle with a $5 super chat. Merry Christmas. No, you're on lockdown. Sent an email of my cat watching you as nice. <laughs> RMB, you sir are awesome. Thank you. Uh, as for the laughs in a shite year, it meant a lot. Oh, thank you, dude. I always, yeah, somebody, uh, I don't know if it's constantly you, um, but somebody, uh, I have had multiple times where people have sent me pictures of their um their cat watching me. <laughs> I love it. I, I love it. There's just something so cool, and you just see this picture of this cat, and they're just staring at the screen when I'm on. It's just like this is cool. I like oh, it. Oh, I have to say that there's someone in the chat who says I've only started getting into gunpla. Um, oh, if the Gundam was right, it's a pla- it's plastic crack. I have to tell you, I love. I love Gundam Perfect Grade kits. That new RX seventy eight two figure, the the kit, I have to have that. The new Perfect, I have to have that figure. And you can't; it's like sold out. And they, they're going to make more of them. But I saw that I saw that model kit, and I'm like, oh, I want that. I I I mean, that was one. Of, that's one of the things that's upcoming that I'm like, uh, and it's not you know, it's like two hundred bucks. But I have to have that kit. I have to have it. Well, I must. Justin, who's going to be on next week when we're on your side, the dark side, <laughs> uh, he kind of ignited a little bit of hope in me, which scares me because he said now that they're doing the Bat Pod and uh, the one in six Dark Knight Rises Batman again, uh, this might lead to them doing Bane, <laughs> might lead to them doing another Catwoman, another Bane, and I'm just like, I need an updated Bane. That, but that Bane figure is pretty good. It is good. It's a, it's good, I but yeah, and, and I, 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 yeah, yeah. I mean, they always, but I, though, I really like that figure. I, I've got Bane and Catwoman. My Catwoman is actually on my Bat Pod. I have her on my Bat Pod. Um, Should be on my Bat Pod if I. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I, you know, I'm a huge fan of that but that's another thing i mean and when hot toys does re-release those things then you have to ask yourself well do i need to replace my dark knight rises dx batman yes <laughs> well the great thing is, is you can always sell the old one and you can sell it for it's worth more than it oh. was but <laughs> yeah now nowadays the value goes down because they re-release it which is problematic um but yeah i mean i'm, I'm i've got and you got that beautiful christian bale head sculpt for the uh, for the for the Batman as well, so I'm, I'm yeah. very right. 
Um, Andrew Matthews with a five pound super chat as an RMB, the mighty knee Ford statue from Critical Role is on preview from Sideshow. How long do I have to decide? Uh, no, you make the decision right now. <laughs> uh, there you go. So, check out the figure. Uh, I'm not a Critical Role, I don't watch Critical Role, but I know what you're aware of. But the answer is uh, buy it, is the answer. It's always yeah. the answer. Robert taught me that. <laughs> I would I would send Robert messages saying, yeah, what do you think? And Robert just goes, buy it. <laughs> the answer is buy it. So, and then if you were not convinced, I'll send you videos. Yeah, Watch yeah. this video of this figure. Yeah. You will buy it. Why you buy it? <laughs> this is why you buy it. Okay. I bought it. I pulled the trigger. God, silly boy. About time to learn. Thank you, sir. Uh, Jonathan D. Penabellis, butchered your name, great. Two dollar super chat. Have either of you seen the MX Studio statues? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, the the thing is, I, like, I, I mean, I'm not a statue guy. I, I can't go down that road. Yeah, uh, I can't. I just the the statue thing. I used to have statues. But I can't. I, I, to be honest, I do have a Prime One statue on pre-order. I do, <laughs> and and uh, you know, like I said to you before, I really like watching Gem Mint Collectibles channel, and Gem Mint. Uh, I I I don't know his real name, but he does a lot of statue unboxing and reviews, and he has a yeah. great like he has a great collection of Berserk statues, and I I watch his channel again. It's it's my pornography. I watch Trek Yards for my spaceship porn. I watch Gem Mint Collectibles for omnibuses and statues. I watch Justin's channel for for Hot Toys figures. I mean, this is I cruise the internet. <laughs> and then I watch Jenic, Jenic's channel, because all he he's the greatest airbrusher in the world. Uh, and he airbrushes Gundam models. So oh. you know, I skip around the I skip around the web and that's what I watch. <laughs> God damn. Oh God, no. Um yeah, I mean I, I think Prime One is is incredible. I when these statues arrive, the other two, which is the Siri and mm. the Robin, I, I I can't get any more statues. I have no more room for statues. What toys though? Right. I can fit in cabinets. Look, man, all I can I, say I can is a good Swiffer, I gotta take this and bang it out, but a good see, this is the dust. A yeah. good Swiffer is your friend. Absolutely. I dusted before I came on here these figures that were in the kitchen. <laughs> but they're dusted. And these things, you bang this out, the dust comes right out, and you start again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got one myself. Uh, about 60, about 6'2", with a five-pound soup chat. Any experience with uh, NECA toys? A local comic shop has an Arkham Origins Batman. I've been eyeing it for a year, but I haven't heard of the brand. I've heard of NECA. Oh, NECA's huge. Yeah. No, ne NECA's huge. The only thing about NECA is I watched a great video the other day. I think it was Retro Blasting. Mm -hmm. uh, Retro Blasting did a video about how NECA toys are prone to break. Oh. The plastic they use, they have a lot, of, they have a really high failure rate as far as toys go. They make a lot of great licensed toys, but they have a really high failure rate, which is something that's been brought to their attention. Like, you know, with Hot Toys, for instance, when I showed my Ed 209 from Robocop, when they first did Ed 209, they used a rubber that later split. Yes. And then they'll, they'll Hot Toys will try and fix things. You know, they go through and they know, because when you spend, you know, $400 on a figure, you don't want a year later for the rubber to break, no. to crack apart. You know, I mean, if you're good with an airbrush, I guess you can go in there and, and, and airbrush battle damage from fighting Robocop on it, but you don't want that to happen. Yeah. No. Um, no, you pay you, you, when you're paying that sort of money. This, this, you want it to last till you're dead. Till you drop. <laughs> um. So yeah, I, I, I I'm. Uh, oh, I didn't know about that. But yeah, Necker, Necker, big, big, big. I mean, they look nice, but you know, if they're gonna break, <laughs> be careful. Yeah. Uh, Danny Boy with a five pound super chat. Hi guys, my other half thinks that I play kids to that I pay kids toy prices. If she finds out what I really pay, she'll Just go keep it that way. Me. Just yeah. keep it that way. Keep it that there's way. No, there's no reason to dissuade her of her belief. This, darling, this. Oh, I'll put nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. 
<laughs> fancy beans on toast for tea tonight. <laughs> really fancy some beans on toast. How much do all those 1612 Eagle transporters cost? <laughs> <laughs> Like 15 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> like my dinky, the same size as my dinky eagle from 1975. It was 15 bucks then. Yeah, yeah, Why would it yeah. be more now? Uh, um, locomotion lotion with a five pound super chat. I have all the G1 Takara and FT uh fans toys characters. They're all in a cupboard because I have nowhere to put them. So sad. I can't even see them. Buy some cabinets. You can get some. Some well-priced, under £100 cabinets, even if they're faux plastic. Yeah. You know, just get some nice cabinets so you can put them in and look at them. They want you to look at them. She wants you to look. Uh, and Danny Boy, again with the £5 suit chat, I'm already dreading the import taxes. Oh, Jesus Christ. On my four-foot Henry Cavill <laughs> black Superman, uh, black suit, super, not black Superman. Is that Prime 1? Every, every, yeah, yeah, it's a prime one on the black suit Superman, and I've still got a final payment. Well, my, I actually have to pay the Siri of Sintra, uh, Siri of Sintra in one because I didn't have that on, um, on, on, on monthly installments. So that has to come out in one with import fees, which are going to be. Three hundred pounds. Oh my gosh! Maybe three fifty. Do you have to, you have to play VAT and import fees? Uh, don't have to pay VAT on it. That's including the purchase price uh, of where you get it from. So I won't have to pay VAT, but I will have to pay um, import fees. But I will also show it on stream. And write it off. <laughs> right, of course. <laughs> that's, there's no reason why. That's another thing people have to understand is that all of these things are legitimately a write-off. This so is in, a show. This in is your, a show. In your taxes. So you you got to figure out a way to write them off. Yeah. That's, that's uh, something we, we don't stress enough, that they are write-offs. Yes. Yes. Because <laughs> we are doing a show, showing them off for your benefit, and you can see by the Super Chats the benefit that it does give. Uh, Honda, 3D Honda with a £2 Super Chat. But yeah, the import fees are not good. Fucking nightmare. My import fees on uh the night because the night both the Huntress and the Nightfall Batman came in two boxes. <laughs> came in two boxes. So do you have to pay double the import fee? Uh pre I, I think for the I think I paid over 450 pounds, 500 pounds. I think I paid in import fees. Each bruh. Well, each for the Huntress and for the yeah, right. so a thousand pounds in import fees. A thousand pounds in import fees. Wow. You know what that calls for? Uh, this this oh. is the Eagle oh. Moss. Yes. This is the Eagle Moss V'ger. V'ger. Star Trek the motion picture. And if you're paying a thousand dollars in import fees, maybe I should hand this to you and you yeah. should use it because and put it where, where it might have to put go. Right in my ass. Yeah. <laughs> because this. <laughs> Thank you, Eagle Moss. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the Vija. This is Vija from Star Trek: The Motion it, Picture. It, it fits with the film. It fits exactly. There's orifices in that movie all over the place, so uh, it fits, and it's got a very sexual. There's a very sexual sort of tone as well. With I, I've taken a vow of celibacy, so I don't fuck the crew to death. Um, you know, type <laughs> of, <laughs> where I come from, we we just fuck. We just fuck. We, just, we, we wake up, we fuck, we go to bed. So I've taken a vow of celibacy so I don't fuck your crew to death. Cheers. <laughs> Decker's pretty pissed, though. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, 3D Honda with a two-pound suture, as does your Enterprise D Saucer separate as well. Uh, well, that's going to come in March. Fingers crossed it'll be delayed. Um, but I'll have, it, I'll have it paid off. You have I think it does. It? Really? I don't think so. It didn't show it in the pictures. Oh. I don't think so. It lights up beautifully, though. Um, And maybe I'd be a bit concerned if it did. <laughs> I'd be a bit concerned if it probably did. So I don't think so. Um, But, uh, God, I can't wait to get my hands Oh, God, I will weep. <laughs> that is, I will take that to bed with me. <laughs> and I will make sweet love to me. <laughs> 
Well, it does have those warp nacelles after all. Oh, it's got a, it's got a couple of beautiful nacelles. <laughs> um, these don't you know? Uh, locomotion ocean again. Locomotion lotion again with a five pound super chat. I had a problem with uh, the episode six fight at the most climactic point of the fight. A busted up staircase fills the screen and hides the dolly shot. Can't remember that. Well, that's filmmaking. Yeah, there you go. You know, well, it's Blaine Vader. He's the one who threw his lightsaber up at the gantry. Yeah. Uh, Andrew Matthews with a five pound super chat. As I will do a deal with you. I will get the Critical Role statue if you get the Ghost of Tsushima statue. Ooh. I really am tempted for that. I just got to know where it can go. Well, oh, wait a minute. What were you saying earlier in this show? Should, I will never, move house. should never stop you. Come on now. I will move house. I will move to a bigger house. I mean, uh, and that's a samurai statue. Come on. I know. And and it, it's such a good game, and Jin was such a good character, and it's ah oh, the story was beautiful, and I'll think about it. I'll think about it. That's all I can say. I'll <laughs> think, think about it. Well, I show. I, hey, uh, just quickly, show, I was showing Robert this just before the um, uh, before the start of the uh, stream. Really thinking of pulling the trigger on this big boy. Oh man, oh I love that so much, and that's uh, that's made by Big, yeah, Big Chief. Big Chief, Look at how yeah. gorgeous that is. Captain Scarlet, Captain Scarlet. Uh, I love, I love Jerry Anderson stuff. That's really, really cool. Oh, I love that retro box. No, how? And this is one in six. Oh no, I didn't know it was six scale. I think so. Oh, it is six scale. It says six scale right on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, I'm gonna have to bust on that. This is the voice of the Mister Ons. We know that you can hear us, <laughs> and you can get a Captain Black. Okay, you know what I want? I hope I would kill to get okay. an Ed Straker from UFO. That's what I want. They're doing, you know, Big Chief's doing uh, um, uh, uh, Martin Landau from Space 1999. Yes, They're I doing saw John that. John Koenig, which I really want. Oh, that's so beautiful. That's really great. The the face is great too. It looks just oh, like him. perfect, perfect uh, Anderson puppet. I want Captain Black. Yeah, well, you can get him. He's he's up there as well. Six scale. Mm -hmm. Oh man, see, I think it's Captain Scarlet, Captain Black, and uh, Captain Blue. Are they going to make one of the Angel Interceptor pilots? Because I'd like oh, to get one I, of I, those. Just Lady Penelope and Parker from oh. the as well. <laughs> uh, let me just click on. Can I? Oh, oh, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, show daddy what you got. <laughs> show daddy what you oh, got. There we go. Oh, black. oh, man. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at those. Oh, look at that five o'clock shadow on Captain Black. That's great. That guy was born in puberty. I love it. Look oh, at those. Are great. Yep. Oh, see. So good. So good. Oh, oh, oh that yeah. Packaging as well. That is insane. That packaging. That, yeah, that packaging is great. And then Captain Blue, who's the blondie. You can get Captain Blue as well. There you go. There you can actually see Captain Blue. Let's go you gotta on. get the whole range, man. Wow. You gotta get the whole range. Oh, Everyone's looking at us now going, what is that? <laughs> Captain Scarlet? What? Captain Scarlet LGBT. What is Captain Scarlet? <laughs> what is the voice of the Mr. Ons? What is that? <laughs> the, yeah, 1 in 6 scale. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, my God. It's so good. Right. That's the Super Chats, folks. So that there's one there's one last thing to show, then. Uh-oh. One last thing to show. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to do the thing when I show this off. I'm very... Uh... Is it something that we're going to get banned for? Are you going to get demonetized if you do the oh, thing? No, I wanted to flick the switch on the. Um, oh, things. that's all. I see. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I did say that um, I actually did have a hot toy mm. uh, to show off, which. Um, oops, Daisy, I'm not. <laughs> I don't want to share screen. Uh, that I I hadn't um, uh, shown, but you've seen, and it is the. Death Trooper. Oh God, that's such a great figure with uh, the lights on. So you've got the the light, the LEDs light up on the 
You got two. You see, so you, you missed that little green I, one. I know it's hard to see because of the light. You got the yeah. light in the room reflecting off that beautiful black armor. Yeah. So you got the the light, uh, the tactical light, and then the the green. What I imagine would be targeting. Yeah. And then you have the two green underneath here, and this head is actually magnetic. So that's magnetic and just that's what the switch clicks. is. Yeah, just clicks there. Wow. And then on a, like that. And then that's what a great a that's a great figure. Wow. Great figure. This great figure there. It's absolutely fantastic. That's gorgeous. That's fantastic. Gorgeous. That. Yeah, that's my death trooper. So this that... is Rogue One. This is the Mandalorian uh, re-release, which has the green. Yeah. The greener eyes, which I much prefer, I must say. Yeah, I didn't get that. Those are things I didn't get. I got to go back and get because I love Star Wars. I love the Star Wars armored toys. They yeah. just, yeah, they released another one. They uh, they announced another one yesterday. It's like the the transport trooper or something. Oh. Um, it's interesting. Oh, I now I got it. It. put it up for pre order. Yeah, no, it's up for pre order. Oh. Why? Yes, it is. It's another Mandalorian. <laughs> I, I, like I said, I watched the Mandalorian in, in, in two different ways. I watched the Mandalorian to enjoy it as a Star Wars show, and then I also watched the Mandalorian and do calculations on how much each episode of the Mandalorian is going to cost me in Hot Toys figures in the long run. Oh, this episode has four figures in it, <laughs> and yeah. that's how much it's going to cost me. <laughs> well, so. no, well, I mean, I, I, I would like a second one. And I would like a second remnant trooper. Oh well, then you see that uh, that yeah, you you got to get a whole cadre, of, then you get a, whole, a, whole, a whole a whole battalion of stormtroopers and death troopers and all that. Yeah, uh, practical, <laughs> practical uh, sneak you on a five Canadian. You have no choice. If you want it, you'll have to buy it. It's the law. <laughs> Merry Christmas to both of you and your wrenches. Yeah, I got beautiful wrenches. You do. I do. Uh, my God. Well, what a show this has been. I, 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 yeah. I I've got to bring this one to an end. We're approaching three hours now. Oh, no, we're two and a half hours. We're two twenty. Two hours twenty. Two oh two twenty. Yeah, okay. That's. I thought that's a perfect place to to bring it to its conclusion. Anyway, uh, I, I think it's fantastic. Next week we're gonna we're gonna have Justin and we're gonna have. Uh, I, I've got questions. I mean, he knows a lot about. He's very in with these creators and knows a lot more about the the. He, he's got the inside scoop, so it'll be fun to talk to him about those kinds power. of things. <laughs> he's got the power. He's got the power. <laughs> you know, he was telling me that uh, he, 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 I guess he told his wife or something that we were talking about him uh, online. Mm. And, and she's like, why are these guys talking about you? And I'm thinking, I hope you told her because you're awesome. <laughs> well, well, we, we hate you, but we kind of love you. What's but funny is you. he told me, Justin told me he was moving. And I was like, moving? I'm like, what do you, what, what you're moving Justin's collection and, and he's individually, he's not, I said, are you putting your figures back in their boxes? And he goes, no, I'm not doing that. I'm individually bubble wrapping them and I, they're standing up in bins so he right. can move them. Oh, and I go, that, okay. I go, that's probably a, a, probably a pretty good way to move the figures, but still, I mean, he has to have 200 figures. Oh, easy. Uh, I mean, more than, yeah. I mean, he's, uh, it's like. And yet he was, he's moving into a new house and, and I, I, I want to watch him. Like I want to fly to Melbourne, go to his house and help him set up his figures yeah. in those cases. I mean, I could, I, if somebody said to me, what are you doing this weekend? Well, I'm flying to Australia. I'm going to see Justin and I'm going to help him set up his hundreds well, of popular I, I figures. To fly to Melbourne uh, and sit in a chair drinking tea. Uh, while you two set them up, <laughs> and I don't I'll, know if, I'll just I, watch and admire. I don't know if he would ever let me touch his figures, to be honest. And you know, posing your figures in your display case is a very personal thing. Mm -hmm. I, I don't. I even though I say that's what I would want to do, like it's arrogant of me to assume that another man would ever let me pose his figures. Never rub another man's rib. <laughs> <laughs> never do. And uh, I, I think you and I, I would be drinking either uh, probably Cooper's. I love okay. uh, Cooper's yeah, yeah. and uh, maybe some Penfold's wine, some some local hooch, and uh, uh, it would be such a, so much fun. And maybe maybe we could sit and offer suggestions, like. Maybe you want to just have his gun come up a little higher so we can yeah. see the figure in the back more. Yeah. You we know, we'll, we'll be the critics. Drivers. 
Yeah. We'll be the critics. He's the artist, and we'll be the critics. We'll be we the action figure poser critics. Why and we'll call ourselves done? we'll call yeah. ourselves the posers. The posers. The yeah. posers. And we we're, we're, we're you know, because they do have a sideshow does make a show, yes. a show about posing your figures. Yeah, well, now figures. We, we're gonna critique people's posing. Because <laughs> why not? I like, them. I like them. there's 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 money to be had. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of money, Eskimo no Fono with a two dollar super chat. Merry Christmas to you two. And then he follows up with another two dollar super chat. And says, Merry Christmas to the mods and to the chat as well, which is lovely. Thank you, Eskimo no Fono. Thank you very Christmas. much. You know, we could do our first episode about Gary Beekler. We could, we could, we could do our poser show, and we could critique all of and we, we all of his figures. You know, he's and, crammed together. He's got so many. Yeah, he's got so many, and uh, I think he needs to. I think he needs to up his posing game. Yeah. because of that yeah. i want more action poses because one of my favorite things when i watch gary i've still i, I can't stop looking in his background and seeing which figures he's right, got yeah in. i'm yeah i'm always on the look i mean yesterday uh we're doing a stream doing the real bbc stream and i was like is that galileo behind you <laughs> and, he's like, and he thought i meant the person galileo i was like no 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 the shuttlecraft is that the shuttlecraft galileo and he's like, oh no, no, this one's from this this shuttlecraft is uh, my missus is, and it's from the next generation. I was like, oh, if it's from next generation, it's shuttlecraft two then, you know, shuttlecraft four. <laughs> it's the but, L Baz yeah. from Times Squared, which is not yeah. a good episode. <laughs> but anyway, Robert, thank you ever so much. To, I that was great. Your Hulkbuster is beautiful. Woo! Well, let me lift him up one more time. Oh, oh let's, yeah, yeah, let's see it oh. again. I cannot oh, tell you how heavy this thing is. So no, heavy, it's not. It's it's plastic, but it's got a lot oh. of. It has to have a metal internal frame. I mean, this yeah. is really weighty, and all the all the all the joints and everything. Um, I mean, it's just wow. Campier's got Funko Pops. Well, that says everything, really. <laughs> uh, that explains a lot, to be honest. With you. Um, <laughs> yeah, but Campy just bought a house. So there's that. Yeah. True. yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, fair enough. Well, that, that's because he buys camp. <laughs> um, so thank you all so much, dude. That was great. Uh, the, the Star Wars diorama looked like it's going to be a doozy. Yeah. Um, the, the Hulk Buster is just crazy. Uh, I had a great time. Massive thank you to you guys for turning out again in big numbers. It's been wonderful to see. A uh, huge thank you to everyone who hit the super chat button to support the channel. When I say support the channel, I mean, <laughs> and uh, my mods, thank you so much indeed. Purple Fire Christ in you today. So thank you very much indeed. Sweetie Pie, uh, you do great stuff. So I am very, very grateful. Although I'm going to speak to you beforehand, just in case there's some of you who won't. Merry Christmas to you all. I hope you have a wonderful day and a happy new year if I don't see you beforehand. Next week's show is going to be crazy good. Uh, over on Robert's channel, where we got fully that. articulated episode yeah. two. Woo. Mine's the hot toy. He's a fully artic. He's a fully articulated. I'm a hot That'll be twi. fun. Hot toy. And if uh, uh, I will, I will jump off. But if you want, I'm going to start uh, another stream at three o'clock, where I'm actually unboxing all the stuff that people have sent me uh, during lockdown. Oh, nice. People nice. have sent me stuff, so I'm gonna. Uh, and I'm excited because I haven't opened it yet. <laughs> nice. So, well, there you go, folks. Robert is gonna go live in about uh, 20 minutes. Yeah, uh, over um, on uh, the Burnett work on YouTube, yeah. and I'm gonna unbox what people have sent me. I hope there's like not a bomb in it or anything like that. <laughs> one of those, you know, glitter bombs. The guy who makes the glitter bombs for people <laughs> that steal steals like one of those. Actually, I kind of like to get one of those. That would be really kind of neat. They spend a lot of time. Fine. You don't want one of those paint bombs, though. No, no, no. I, I don't want the fart smell either. But the glitter's fine. Glitter, glitter is fine. fine. It's it. uh, so huge, huge thanks. I will be, I think, over on Gary's channel tomorrow as we are going to have the link ready for the Indiegogo for the release of our uh, comic, which is going to come out uh, next December wow. 2021. Uh, it's called Santa's Ex-Husband. Uh, so we're looking forward to, to going through those details with you. And then Friday, Friday night, tights on Christmas Day. A couple of hours on there for you. Uh, so many thank yous, Merry Christmas, Merry Hot Toys, yay! Uh, Robert, jump onto Robert's channel, uh, the network, and go watch him stream. It's so been fun. Care. Thanks to everyone, and Merry Christmas and Happy I Holidays. Yeah. <laughs> be, be hot toying you? I don't know. Uh, take care.